I hold in my hand, Anthony. Mm -hmm. Gangsta fag. Wow. Thank you, Joe Rogan. Gangsta fag will debut. I'm sure it's as subtle as Joe Rogan on the program <laughs> today. Do we know which songs to play off this thing? Anybody want to like track through it a little bit? All right, Eric will track through that. Eric, get the track in place. Do we have time to get into Gangsta Fag? Yeah, I want to hear what this is. This was from uh, Joe Rogan, right? Yeah, Joe Rogan um, helped out the show while we were in L.A. And he goes, guys, now that you're on satellite radio, i got the perfect thing for you. Because they can't play it on regular radio. He's obsessed with this thing. It's called Gangsta Fag. Gangsta Fag. Some gay black guy, right? Yeah, I guess. Here he is. And he writes uh, rap songs like... You know, you usually hear the rap guys talking about bitches, having sex with the bitches. But this guy, yeah, the disrespecting, yeah. But this guy uh, does the same type of music, but he's rapping about other men and ass fucking them. <laughs> what, you listen to this? No, that's what uh, Joe Rogan said. Oh, okay. All right, well, here's a track called. Yeah, I own all of his albums. <laughs> <laughs> here's a track called He Wants It. He Wants It. But wants is W A N T Z. 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 Oh, That's right. Z. Yeah. Good Bernie guest music. You love this stuff. See, I was getting high with my boys one day. Just kicking back, hanging out in LA. When this dude drove by and this really funky bands. I could tell right away this motherfucker had AIDS. Was a white dude, about 30 something. Kept staring at me, yelling like he wanted something. He called me over and he asked for directions. I saw his dick was hard, so I beat his car. I said, You dying, you know you ain't lost. You wanna suck my dick while I'm jacking you off. And he said, Oh no, it must be a mistake. I got a wife and a kid, and I'm very, very straight. So I said, Take my number and my name. You can call me up when you're sick of playing. Games. As I walked away, yo, I knew he would call Cause if you see one bag, they can see them all He wants it. So what the fuck you think? He needs it. So what the fuck you mean? He wants it. Cause if you see one bag, now you see them all He wants it. So what the fuck you need? He needs it. So what the fuck you think? He wants it. Cause if you see one bag, then you see them all So I knew that he'd be climbing the wall One week later and he finally called He said his family's gone for a week or two And he was really bored and needed something to do So I drove to his crib up in Beverly Hills A poor man's house worth a couple of mills He said he was a gay, he just wanted to check And a half hour later he massaging my back In his wife's room, yeah. he gave me some hair yeah. Went in the next room, oh. fucked on his kid's bed Fucked and we fucked like bitches in heat I came on his face and it all over the sheets oh. I knew what I was when I started getting sore I grabbed the kid's toy and I wiped my dick off He was oh. like, trying to recover I'm dressed and I'm up as my car Dirty rubber so what the fuck you think? So what the fuck you need? Cause if you see one bag, then you see them all. On the kids' bed? So what the fuck you think? So what the fuck you need? Cause if you see one bag, then you see them all. The dick was so good that he just couldn't pass up. So all that week, yeah, I'm tearing that ass up. Cause he loved to ride him and he loved to suck him. And after I was done, I let my whole boys fuck him. Now his punk ass called me every day. I told him we were through, then he said he would pay. So now twice a week I'm getting paid to tap him. He lays me with the cash and, and the visa platinum. One month later and the cat's out the bag. Cause this motherfucker started dressing in drag. But I did my thing and I had my fun with him. It's time to cut him off because I'm done with him. Crying like a bitch and he's starting to beg. He's falling on the ground holding on to my leg. Screaming don't leave please twist the G. But this is what you get when you fuck with me. Ha! Yeah, you're mm -hmm. real. So what the fuck you real think? tough guy. So what the fuck you mean? Cause if you see one bag, then you see them all. He wants it. So what the fuck you mean? He needs it. So what the fuck you think? He wants it. Cause if you see one bag, then you see them all. Hello, I'm Twisted. This is Tom's wife. Tom is not gay, okay? I want you to stay away from Tom. He is not gay. We have a family and a son. We all life together. You stay away from you, son of a bitch. Ramon. Clean that black man's jizz off our sticky. Oh, man. 
Okay, Lyle. terrific. Toy sticky. I love the line where he goes, I grabbed the kid's toy and I wiped my dick <laughs> off. my dick with it. great. Could have been mixed a little bit better, though, don't you think? Yeah. Tax yeah, kind of mixed kind of with Wesley Willis. You've got to look at the producer on that. You yeah. just want to yeah. look into it. I, I, think, I think we got it on that one. Let's call it a night. <laughs> I think we're going to just do one take today. <laughs> Tax cuts from uh, Whack Bag. Uh, break this CD. Uh... So this is what Rogan listens to? Uh, <laughs> Lieutenant Thompson from Whack Bag, we fucking get it. <laughs> yeah, when it keeps going, it's like, oh, all right, well, why don't we? All right, well, there's a couple more tracks. Why don't we just kind of uh, just give uh, the, the, the people a sample, Anthony? A little sample up to the chorus? Yeah, why not? This is called Closet. The past and it hurts. I'm just a little kid growing up in the church, fearing Jesus, believing in God. Eight years old, and I knew I was on. Staring at the other little boys in the class. My mouth is dry, my heart's beating fast. A I'm little in the monster room, rain. I'm taking the leak, and every chance I get, you know I'm taking the peek. They looking at me, so I turn away quick. I can't get caught staring down at their dicks. I wanna hold it in my hand, but I'm scared to try. I wanna put it in my mouth, and I don't know why. Okay, I'll next track. All the things that I'm hoping to get. Every single night when I'm stroking my dick. I'm real confused, but there's no one to tell. I know my life is doomed, and I'm going to hell. Cause I'm living in the closet. See, I'm trapped in the closet. Yeah. See, I'm living in the closet. Help me, I'm in the closet. See, I'm living in the closet. This is a Bostonian's worst nightmare. <laughs> Black and gay. Cause I'm living in the closet. Jesus. Help me, I'm in the closet. Uh, I'm 13. And all right, well, all right. What happens next? I'm sure it's, <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure it's really bad at 13. We know how this is going to end. <laughs> the creepiest part of that is when he goes, my mouth is dry and my heart is beating fast. Oh. Ugh. Are you relate? No, I'm just, I just picture him. Look, look yeah. at those cocks and he can't talk. I oh. want to hold it in my hand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sure... At the 13 part, there's plenty of things that rhyme with sock, cock, mouth, things well, like that. Real difficult writing style. We don't need to know, do we? Uh, I don't. I'd like to know. find out what happens. You I think. What to I think maybe he discovers girls. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> That's the twist. Yeah. Jim's looking for a uh, left turn. I don't even know how far in was that was. Far in about eight that? inches. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see. It's probably oh, no. somewhere is in here. Let's see. All right. All right, let's well, 13. There's no one to tell. I know my life is doomed, and I'm going to hell. Because I'm living in the closet. All right. Yeah, he's living in the closet. See, I'm living in the closet. See, I'm living in the closet. Help me, I'm in the closet. See, I'm living in the closet. Hey, motherfucker. in the closet. Because I'm living in the closet. Here we go, boys and girls. Help me, I'm in the closet. I'm 13, and it's all getting worse. I'm going through puberty, and this shit is a curse. 24 7 now, I'm thinking about dick, but I'm still a virgin, and it's making me sick. I tried to get with this girl just to try to get off, but I started getting sick, and my dick stayed soft. I knew that many girls wasn't meant to be. I knew that fucking with that pussy wasn't meant for me. I met this guy named Tim, who lived down the street. I used to sneak in his house when his mom was asleep. We used to suck dick and make love all night. I didn't know if it was wrong, but it felt so right. It was a secret that we vowed to keep. The sex was really good, but the guilt ran deep. The truth was, I was in love with a man. And it was something that this world could never understand. In the closet. All right, are we done? Go. He gets laid. There I, you was, go, Jimmy. I, I was uh, oh. on the right track, though. I think you were wrong there. We're done, right? Oh, he discovered yeah. girls. He did discover yeah. girls. I he was didn't going. like it, though. Oh, right. right. Apparently, Tim had some good dick. <laughs> How was I supposed to know? Yeah. Fade this out? Yeah, yeah. Let's, uh... He can't help but wonder what's going to happen next. Oh, oh, gee, I wonder. Could it be a dick in an ass? <laughs> Maybe he goes to college and outgrows us. I think he's going to get cured. Yeah. Thank God his father left when he was a baby, right? I'm still assuming. Because this world ain't right with me. One day, me and Tim got caught. Ain't the consequences was worse than I thought. My parents threw me out, and I got disowned. Now it's me against the world, and I'm all alone. 
They curse me out and they call me a fag. I left with all my clothes in a plastic bag. I learned the streets can be cold and vile. And believe me, if you're gay, then it's twice as wild. I fought a lot, I've been standing shot. Motherfuckers trying to kill me, cause I don't like twice. In no time, I learned to ride for mine. And not to give a fuck if you like my kind. I'd rather be dead than be living a lie. And I won't be a fag till the day that I die. So now they got me not giving a fuck. And I'm saying fuck the world, and I'm living it up. No living in the closet. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, living in the closet. I wonder who caught him and Tim. Because I don't like twat. I know. Who caught him and Tim? And why'd they have to tell his folks? There's there's three more tracks. Oh, Tattletale. Well, yeah. one of the. Uh, uh, what are the names? Well, the next one's called The Faggots. <laughs> the Faggots? Hmm. A little a new sitcom? A little taste of The Faggots? <laughs> no, a little, no. <laughs> Can you please put it in some other way? That doesn't have much of a range, does it? <laughs> it's kind of a one trick pony here. Yeah. It's gangsta. I was some dick. Gangsta fag, everyone. <laughs> I was fucking some dick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now I just finished fucking my man. Now I'm licking in the bed, hit my dick in the. <laughs> <laughs> right, right out of the gate on that one. <laughs> right out of the gate. He finished fucking his man. Now yeah. he's laying there with his dick in his hand. MC cut to the chase. <laughs> confusion has apparently ended. <laughs> the notorious D.I.K. <laughs> oh wow! Tell they spell it in the hood. All yeah. right. All right. Now I'm laying in the bed with my dick in his hand. My fucking head, he gets up and he says he's thirsty. He's going bitch. to the store to get a 40 year old E. He kissed me and told me I'll be back. I laid the fuck down and started taking a nap. I passed the fuck out because I'm tired like a mother. That's when I heard a scream and the car burning rubber. I grabbed my gat and I ran outside. I saw my baby the on the crap and they beating him down. They had him outnumbered one to eight. They calling him a fag and they kicking his face for me. I put my gat and I'm letting it spit. And I don't really care, give a fuck who I hit. They jump in the car, now they run like bitches. The dead motherfuckers just dug their dishes. Run for the faggots, run for the faggots. You know it's worth the G-Kick. A little Cypress the Hill there. Run from yeah. The run from the faggots. I guess you picked the wrong fucking bag to fuck with. Run from the faggots. Run, run from, from the faggots. The the insane in the membrane. Run from the faggots. Insane in the membrane. I guess you picked the wrong fucking bag to fuck with. Now my boo's in the hospital Do you think they get away? That's impossible Cause I'ma terrorize them like a gang of a rats Cause they picked the wrong fucking fag to gay bash I know who they are cause I've seen them before And now you know it's time for me to settle the score right. So I call my dogs and we hit the streets Three Figure out how to fat. fuck the guy in ICU <laughs> Is that what we get next? And I'm rubbing his balls <laughs> Is He's in life support, and I dick him in the ass. Is there a market for gay rap music? Uh, I don't. I, I don't, don't think so. Uh, I, there was a rap, remember, you know, Curtis from Caroline's. He's a he's a black waiter who's very gay and happy about it, and, uh-huh. and was rapping too. He had this idea a long time ago. He never went through with it. With all this, uh, type I, of he, he he was actually really good. He did some yeah. of his lines. He was fucking hilarious. I don't know if he ever pursued huh. it. All right. What's uh, what's next on the? Uh, well, we have one more. I guess it's called If You Want. Mm-hmm. And, there's a song. Want, they, they had, and then there's a song book, called Eminem. The book out, uh, the Download Brothers. The Download Brothers. Oh right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I figured maybe this is their music for the Download Brothers. Yeah, they keep that, it on the download. Yeah, the they download. act like they're straight, uh, but they're actually gay. And they go out and they uh, have sex with each other. And then they, you know, in front of other people, they're with uh, you know hot thugs, chicks, and they're thugs. Yeah. Here's if you want. Yeah, that's really a good beat. I'm talking about. Yeah. Anybody want to guess on subject? <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? <laughs> if you want. I'm in my ride, cruising down the street. Got my system bumping to a twisted GB. It's early in the morning and I'm smoking a bud. I'm horny as a fuck and I need me a stud. I got this chick asking me for a ride, but I let her know quickly that I'm strictly dickly. I said, I'm sorry, I can't help you, miss. Cause a faggot like me don't be fucking with fish. She gets upset and she flipping me off. Cause her saggy ass tits don't be getting me off. I just laughed as I drove right by. Cause I don't give a fuck cause I'm so, so high. I think about this dude that I fucked last night and how his dick was Big and his ass was tight Sucking uh, on my cock like a candy cane Rubbing on my balls and fucking out my brain <laughs> I, I, came in his mouth. I put my clothes Rubbing on, on and my ball. the fuck out <laughs> You keep it real cause I know my type Cause a nigga like G left a twisted life <laughs> I keep it real and you know my type A nigga like G left a twisted life So if your nigga's bigger, your ass is tight 
Yeah. And you can get with me and we can fuck all night. Right. I keep it real and you know my type. A nigga like me lives a twisted life. So if you think it's big and your ass is tight, then you can get with me and we can fuck all night. I better find the guy. Cruising down Hollywood Boulevard. I'm still yeah. high. I'm I think he's gonna get lucky. Really hard. I'm watching male hookers as I'm driving past. Fuck that shit. I ain't paid for ass. I make a you and I'm about to go home. That's when my boy told me he was a cellular phone. He says he got some guys hanging at the house. And talking lots of shit like they could turn me out. I asked if they were fine and he said, hell yeah. I made a U-turn and told him I'll be there. Rolling on my D's, now I'm on my way. I stopped by the store to get some Alice. Cause you know me, yo, I must come right. And if I got a bug, then I can fuck all night. Ha. I keep it real and you know my type. Cause a nigga Somebody's like probably just tuning in right now and they think that this is the station. <laughs> You should have well. saved this for the first day that we're off premium. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fine introduction to the rest of the XM platform. Yes. I think that was the weakest of the four tracks. Yeah. I'll agree. Kind of ran out of steam there. Yeah, yeah. Eric did a good job figuring out which ones uh, worked. Yeah, they certainly, uh, he certainly exhausts the subject matter on the first couple of tunes. And there's a song about Eminem. Is it good? Bad? He's just trashing Eminem for no reason. Because uh, Eminem don't... For being uh, straight? Like well, he wants Eminem to trash him back because that would give him some right. kind of notoriety because then there people would listen go. to him. And then Curtis, the gay black rapper. He's the one that <coughs> Jim had talked about from Caroline's. He's not related to uh, Gangsta Fan. No, he's he? a totally different guy. Ooh. Oh, wow. Imagine there must, them hooking up. There must be a movement in the rap community. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this Jim. is a new movement. They're going to be like drive-by butt-fucking <laughs> in front of the radio station. <laughs> yeah, mother. Buck, buck. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, Jim was saying like Curtis was the pioneer. Curtis was talking about this years ago. and. Yeah, and now gangster fag, you know we gave gangster fag ripping them off. Like, I yeah, I, you know who robbing? So people at Caroline's heard that we were playing gangster fag. So. I was the first one to get uh, anally raped, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing ass sex uh, before anybody. <laughs> <laughs> ripping me off. Yeah, I don't know if you want to be known as the pioneer of 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 gay rap. Gay rap. Gay black rap. Yeah. Woo, sexy. <laughs> you know, I mean. Gay is barely accepted in the white community. I'm imagining gay in the black community is like has yeah. to be even ten times worse. What do they call that though? On the down low. Oh yeah. On the down low, it's guys that walk around like they're straight. You know, black guys walk around like they're straight, yeah. but they're really on the down low. They're really uh, gay, and they go and have their gayness, but then they go back to their chicks, and uh, that's why a lot of you know the chicks are getting the AIDS and stuff because they don't know if their their guys are gay. You know what's happening over there. You know a little bit about everything. Hey, it wasn't me that said it. I just read it somewhere. <laughs> I read it. Don't don't be buck buck gunfire outside these studios. Curtis, the gay black rapper. He works at Caroline's, yeah. You know, Curtis, you met Curtis before. He's gay? <laughs> you got to be thinking of a different guy. <laughs> <laughs> Not mean, the big guy. No. With the massive, like, earring thing. Uh, you'll know when you see him. He's been there for years. He was usually a gay rapper a, year, a long time ago. I have no idea who he is, and I've been there a million times. Oh, he, huh. Curtis is great. Curtis, the gay black rapper's here, too. Black. Yeah. He yeah, he's black. That's, he's not black. He's very light-skinned, but he's black. He's <laughs> he is. I know oh, Curtis for years. <laughs> Wouldn't you call him white, though? He's no. Don't get that whole thing. you got to drop a black in you. You're black. <laughs> Hey, if you're more white than black, funny. wouldn't you be white? Curtis is black. Shut up. Well, no, no, I, no, I'm not saying that. There is, that is the rule, though. If there's a little black in you, and it, and, and, and the white is, as people say, tainted. That's, that's a black guy? Yes. No. no. He's not. Not. Are you black? <laughs> yeah, he's laughing. Ooh, I'm going to challenge that guy in his blackness. That guy's not black. <laughs> he is. I, that's <laughs> the biggest thing I'm challenging. Uh, that blackness. guy is absolutely not black. We don't even care. He's, I don't care. He's gay. I, I You know. He's, not black, well, he, he's, he's quiet. He doesn't really say that. I don't want him to prove he's gay, but I want to prove. I want him to prove he's black. <laughs> All right. Well, we well, got his. Yeah. We got a CD. Let's let's listen. Let's oh, does do he have a, a CD? Break. Yeah, he's got a CD. We'll take a break and let's do it after the break. Cool. All right. Thanks. I like when Ben takes charge. Yeah. <laughs> someone needs to around here. Oh jeez. In the meantime, we got Curtis, the gay black rapper, in studio. <laughs> what up, yo? I'm oh, looking. <laughs> they don't think you're black, Curtis. I know. I'm half black, half white. So half Puerto black. Rican injection. Hey. There is not a <laughs> <laughs> there is not a drop of black in you. No. No. Nah, this has been black in you before. Oh God. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> I hope he's just staring. I'm just trying to figure this out. No. Well, a gay rapper. He's a white guy. 
Doug Ask Gay, I'm the gay Eminem. Yeah? The gay version of Eminem. Rapper yeah. or gay first? What'd you consider? Gay first. Gay first, rapper yeah. second. Yeah. yeah. When did you know? When? Yeah, when did you know? At yeah, five. Yeah? Five? Really? Yeah. What happened? You look around and you just decided, eh. I felt like I was Wonder Woman. <laughs> you felt like you were Wonder Woman? <laughs> <laughs> At five, though, what like? I would have been around my mother's nightgowns. Eh? Really? <laughs> All right, I could. Understand that, sure. <laughs> and then you get a little older, and uh, maybe get a little dog, a little dog. older, a yeah. little bolder. I go to Spanish Harlem. Right. Gotta retard. See, retard. See, I'm the boss. <laughs> oh, he's boss. still here. Uh, retard. Uh, <laughs> I forgot. Jesus. Curtis, the gay black rapper, uh, still in the studio. Oh, Jesus. No. Wow. What did we do to deserve you this guy today? A gay guy around you. There is just... All right, guys, I got to go. I got to go to the dentist. I thought your appointment was later. 10.30. Oh, I thought it was tooth hurdy. <laughs> <laughs> dentist, <laughs> tooth hurdy. Ah, that's a good one. <laughs> tooth hurdy. <laughs> uh, let's see. We got uh, Curtis, the gay black rapper, and we haven't been able to spend too much time with you. You're going to come back, though, right? He's not yeah, black. No, so I got you. Huh? I'm not yeah, black. I'm not black. But he's not black. <laughs> <laughs> he's, I, I, I assume he's gay. But uh, not black, and I assume you're a rapper, because I haven't heard any of your stuff. See that? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> see that? See that? Well, listen, you know what? What? I beat you with a stick, rob you for your shit, make you get up on your knees and suck my head in his dick. Nigga, what? Uh, <laughs> All right. You must have been rapping. To see that. I think he's really proud of his gay, uh, gayness. Yeah, hell yeah. Because here's a guy, you look at him, you can't tell he's gay or black. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> you ever stereotype. You got little, you know. So you can yeah, walk yeah, around right. and people sure. just assume you're a straight white guy, which may, would make your life a lot easier. But you have no you problem know. making sure people know you're gay. You're right. So this you're you're proud race. of your gayness. <laughs> but he face. probably hears yeah. a lot of <laughs> which, is, which is fine. He probably hears a lot of gay and black jokes because people just think he's some white guy. Yeah, right. So you hear a lot of stuff that I probably pass. you I know. Play defense. Yeah. <laughs> a lot I of people maybe in the same room and they start telling. Uh, an off-color joke about uh, black or gay, and and you're standing there. What are you thinking? Hey, whatever. Yeah, right whatever. Now, well, I hear you. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, uh, let's play one of your songs. Yeah, hey, let's do. Uh, Kurt Black, aka Homo Thug. Right? right. What song you want us to play? Uh, play Gangsta. Gangsta. Oh, you know what? Play Dreams of Fucking a Famous Rap Star. I talk about all the rappers, like C Fifty Cent right here. Yeah. I take that nigga 50 cent. I fuck that nigga 50 cent in the back of a range. Change his name to Dollar Bill because I don't do small change. <laughs> hey, this is not going to be right. like a rap war uh, outside the studio now yeah. that you're here. You're going to start shooting outside? <laughs> There's not going to be other gay rappers coming to get a piece of your ass after this interview, is there? <laughs> All right. Here it is. <laughs> Cause I don't do small chains, take that nigga Eminem, yo, what? Q uh. tip, make him sing in a red G string. Watch him shake his ding ling, that's a vibrant thing. Grab an extra tube of lube when I'm with Ice Cube. We be fucking all the way to next Friday, dude. And that nigga Fat Joe, yo, I give him a blow. Let him lick my asshole for half a kilo. In the beat nuts, I leave him nuts to beat. Cause living in his dick, everything from ass to feet. Suck the dick slick, rich, new dog, and Warren G. Not the P in the No Limit family. They juvenile smile when I'm famous rap star. Fucking a famous rap star. Fuck the 
Gray got this new female rapper, white lady. What the fuck's his name? Yo, his name is Tim Shady. Faggot ass niggas, only half of a man. Cause M and M smell in your mouth, now in your hand. Then that nigga fuck daddy, snatch him out of hot wheels. Put that motherfucker up in a wig, dress in heels. Time to my bed, make him sit on my face. Reminisce about the nights that he spent with me. It's a hard knock life for Jay-Z, you see. It's a hard cock life for a bitch like me. Cause ain't no nigga got lips like you. When you be tossing my salad, I be eating you too. Who's next on the list of dreams? Having sex, trying to be that rough rider, nigga DMX. When you fuck, yo, that shit out that bitch and belly. When a raw door, nigga, fuck the KY jelly. When my dog's ass standing right behind me in line. Suck your dick, make you feel, taking a bite out of crap. Having dreams of fucking a famous rap. Uh, you know who you are, it's nigga T.R. Having dreams of fucking a famous rap. Should we be bobbing to this song like we yeah, are? Bob your head to it. <laughs> yeah. We're all just bouncing. I don't know if this is the yeah. type of song we, we, we're supposed to be bouncing to. No. There you have it. Wow. Uh, all right. See, the, vocals, the, <laughs> the vocals were very low on our mix that we had here, so he was able to just sing along live like that. Yeah. Right there. Uh, here Kurt the Black, studio. a.k.a. Homo Thug. Nice. He's got a nice oh, no. beat. Opie and Anthony show. What? He's uh, <laughs> got a nice beat. <laughs> I just looked around the room uh, all bombing our heads. Like, I don't know if we should be bombing yeah. this song. Yeah, suck his dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sing along. Wow. Yeah, that's something, man. So what do you do with this? Uh, do you perform? Uh, you just record? Well, we do show. I do shows, but yeah? I can't get a record deal. Try no? A, like a, a like a major record deal, but they won't. They, Puffy, nobody would sign it. Bad no, boy, huh? Man. Why not? Because every a rap sold the most in the in Texas and in the Midwest, and it, so they went. You know, they're scared of it. Scared of it? Well, yeah. Well, motherfuckers talk shit. Hey, oh, yeah. You know. That's kind of unique, you know. You don't get many uh, guys rapping about tossing salad and nah. sucking dick and you well, know, ass fucking and. Well, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, ass fucking. Well, I mean, I have commercial. Because, uh, <laughs> I have commercial tracks, but they yeah. don't sign. They're still scared of it. They're like, yo, oh, yeah. a dude talks shit, but in jail, it's all right. In yeah. jail, niggas can fuck niggas. Yeah. Know. But then when you get out of jail, oh, back with the baby's mama. Ah, <laughs> uh, turn coat. So, so they won't sign it. You know how I many gay rappers there are? Come on. Well, you I and uh, yeah. Gangsta Fag. Well, I think there's two of you. No, there's a bunch of them. You know the Gangsta closet. Fag? Yeah, I'm a Gangsta Fag, huh? Yeah, you know him? Oh, Gangsta Fag? Gangsta yeah. Fag? Oh, you nah. never heard his shit? Nah. Joe, Joe Rogan turned us on to Gangsta Fag. Gangsta Fag oh, is really? hardcore. Yeah, you got competition, yo. Oh, really? Well, this guy's West Coast. We got a West Coast, East, East Coast, Coast, West Coast. You know West what? Coast. Wow. Get him in here and we'll battle. Fuck Gangsta yeah. Fag. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's it. That's good. Two gay rappers battling. Wow. Jesus. Wow. I smell pay-per-view. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I hear he's on his way to the studios here right now to kick you when you leave. What the fuck out of here? going to kick you in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's going to bitch slap you as soon as you leave the studio today. Oh! Is he, is he black? I don't... He, it I, sounds it. He sounds, uh... Yeah, he sounds like he's living... But who knows now? The thug life. I you know? them West Coast niggas. You crazy? It's the East Coast thing, son. You want to hear a little <laughs> of him? Yeah, go ahead. Play. You should pop a little of All him right. on. This is Gangsta Fag. I don't know what he song. Wants he wants it. West Coast. I don't even like the D.I. No. no huh? Well, it has that West Coast sound, though. Yeah. See, I was getting high with my boys one day. Just kicking back ah, in the night of that L.A. That motherfucker's whack. Whack, 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 whack. God, I, think we're, I think we're starting a, a rap war here. Wow. Yeah. A gay rap war. You know, Call the, the New York you know, Post. It's the, it's the gay version of 50 in the game. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey. 
There you go. Yo, bring gang, yo, get Gangsta Fag, and then we'll battle. Yeah, that's good. That's good. All right, we don't even know where Gangsta Fag is. I'm uh, probably <laughs> sucking a dick right now, according to his lyrics. The guy's always looking for dicks. Somewhere on Sunset oh. looking for dicks. So. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Yeah, that shit's whack, though. Ah, whack. Yeah. He didn't even He's get cool. to the hook where he, like, picks up this straight guy and then, like, he bangs him when the wife's away and then yeah, he wipes his dick on the kid's toy. On the kid's toy. <laughs> <laughs> he picks up some guy who's straight, but he wants to have, you know, wow. gay sex and stuff. So uh, he takes him back to the house, and he's fucking him in the ass, and then he pulls out and comes all over the sheets and then wipes his dick on his kid's toy. <laughs> Pretty sick. Black ass. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think he's gary. trying to go over the top a little bit. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Bring him over here. That nigga's black. <laughs> Bring him it's on. It's the East Coast thing. Sorry, bro. LA got, got that. shit on New York rappers. Sorry. Dr. Dre got fat beats and that's it. Yeah. Oh, on that sense. but eh. uh. It's the East Coast thing, bro. Yeah. We created it. We started rap. Really? Yeah. Well, it's yeah. Sugar Hill Gang. What am I? <laughs> Sugar Hill Gang. It goes back to the Sugar Hill, right? Or, or are we talking Curtis? Yeah. Curtis, Curtis. Blow? Nah. Yeah, well, yeah. Curtis, Sugar. Back then, Fearless for all of them. Is it true you wanted to be called Curtis Blow Me? <laughs> <laughs> no. Curtis Blow's the best. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that's uh, some rap war we uh we well, got going here now, Opie. We're going to have to bring Curtis, the gay black rapper, back into the studio. Yeah, you got to bring him back. We yeah. have just begun. Did you wanna... I know, we ran out of time. Yeah, we did run out of time, unfortunately. I want to hear your backstory, you know? <laughs> you know, what? But I mean background, not, you know. Not Frosty what, to blow, man. What goes ah. on? What's with the... I like the voice. That's pretty cool. That's unique. You yeah, know? I see that. Not many people. And aside from smoke, see that. you and Harvey Firestein pretty much <laughs> have that voice. Pretty much it. But he doesn't rap. Nah. But he is gay. Yeah. Yeah. He's a big old queen. He is a faggot. Yeah. Wow. That's a faggot. Yeah. Anthony, yeah, hold on to your hats. Tomorrow on the program, Ben Bailey. Yeah. <laughs> wow. we got to promote this, huh? Ben Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Someone in Arkansas is going, who? Who? Someone and in Arkansas. Someone in this studio is going, who? <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Ben Bailey. Yeah. Who's actually very, very funny, New York comic, and a friend of uh, Norton's and the gang, and uh, and Lizzie Grubman. Lizzie Grubman? We'll be Your calling pal? the program, yes. Your buddy? Met her once at a little hey, met shindig. She's fucking ugly. Yeah. <laughs> She's, She's fucking... Uh, I mean, come on, that's a beast. <laughs> like, hey, even straight guys think she's ugly. Wow, yeah. You know, that's... You're not breaking any new ground no, there, Copernicus. Fucking yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right, well, thank you, Kurt. Sorry. Sorry for what? what? Yeah, good. No, yeah. I mean, you know, but, you know. I like your beats. Those are pretty yeah. good. <laughs> the lyrics are a little, you know. <laughs> no crazy. I wouldn't be blasting it out my uh my truck when I'm driving around, you know. Nah. People would be looking in going, ooh. <laughs> What's going on in there? I played in Harlem, though. Yeah? I live in Harlem. So I played in Harlem. One yeah? Fifty, if we have a little brother. They probably dig it up there, yeah, right? come on. Yeah, they all get down. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> they're they not gay. On the down low? Yeah, but they down low yeah, guys over they're there? they're not gay. What's with that whole down low thing? Eh. You think that's really going on? Yeah. A lot of the brothers, they're uh, gay. You know, they're, they're, they live a straight life. The chicks and everything. Fathering kids and everything. But then on the DL, they're they're having uh, sex with other guys, right? And that's going on. And then most of them want to get fucked. The whole really? thing is, is that they they mess with a guy, but then they want to get fucked. They want to be on the bottom. Yeah, you're the bitch. Wow, yeah. that's something. <laughs> Who saw that coming? Well, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Anthony. I want to I want to thank Scott Farrell for uh, Scott Farrell sitting in <laughs> Scott Farrell sitting in on the program uh, today. <laughs> no, thanks, Curtis. Yep, no, we'll have no. you on again. Curtis the Gay Black uh, Rapper. But uh, Eric came in here to remind <laughs> us that uh, that Joe Rogan brought one of the greatest things to our our satellite radio show. Remember oh, Gangsta Fest? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That's, I, I got to put that up on my website. I keep saying I'm And you know what? I, I don't think we play this since it. we've been off the premium, so oh. a lot of people have not heard this thing. This nice. is the most awful thing. You got to play. Is it? How many I'll give songs the do we have? Background. There's like five songs. Because the one is the guy 
that falls in love with him. Yeah, he wants it. Oh, yeah, he, wants he wants it, it really right, bad. Right, yeah, it's yeah. probably the worst one yeah. on the on the disc. Yeah, we'll play a little of this. Is this worse than the uh, horse cock thing? Oh yeah, this, this is, is the yes. audio audio wise. Yeah, this is a, a hardcore gangster rapper who's gay. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. And I used to do a joke about a hardcore gangster rapper who's gay, like in 1989. I used so to like, die. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> but I used to think you know, it, it was a bad joke, and I stopped doing it once I got a real act. But it was like my idea was like the, that rappers are always brag about how many chicks they fuck. Like, wouldn't it be funny if there's a gay rapper that would brag about how many dudes he fucks? But there really is. How much this guy's real. This guy's, guy's a real guy. He's doing really it. He's living bad. it right now. <laughs> and it, this this yeah. tape, the CD, just came. I mean, it's a total chance. Nobody's ever heard of this before. Yeah. And this guy somehow or another produced this. And a buddy of mine was selling T-shirts. My friend Dimitri, he. Uh, he Always comes up with these weird scams to make money, and one of the scams. Whoa, I think he falling apart. Shit is falling out. Right. He he uh, he was selling T-shirts, and one of them was uh, strap-on tools, and he was selling it at a gay parade to a lot of lesbians. These T-shirts, and this guy came up to him and hit on him. And uh, the guy said, you know, he's like, look, man, I'm straight. I'm just here selling T-shirts. He goes, well, hey, man, I'm a rapper. Check out my shit. And he hands him this gangster, gangster fag, fag CD. Wow. And he was scared to listen to it. And he goes, you listen to it. I go, oh, man. <laughs> and I held on to it for a long time. And this is where it gets really crazy. The one time I listened to it, a buddy of mine uh, is a, a jiu-jitsu instructor, my friend Eddie. And uh, he uh, wrote a book on strangling people, on, on jiu-jitsu, right? So, but, you know, it looks, jiu-jitsu, if you don't know what's going on, it looks kind of gay. And <laughs> if, when we're making this book, we're doing all these photographs of all these different techniques. So it's two guys bare-chested oh, with shit. shorts on, and, you know, they're, like, oh, hugging oh, each man. other and choking each other, and t we're taking photographs of it. And it felt dirty, all right? It just felt funny. And I'm like, dude, I'm going to put on the Gangsta Fag CD. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I put on the Gangsta Fag CD while this is going on. This is the first time we had ever heard it. We were like, this is fucking crazy. <laughs> so while this is going on, we're in my garage, which is where I have a four-car garage, and two of the two of the car garages you do. is set up for jujitsu. It's all mats and <laughs> kickboxing bags and stuff. And we're there, and the other two doors are open. And the guy who cleans my pool is walking through, <laughs> and he's he walking does. into my backyard, and he wants it. This guy's talking about oh, sucking oh, dick, and I nut it in his face. And we're there wrestling with no shirts on, and there's a guy taking pictures, and there's like the the whole thing is like the bad wood paneling on the walls. I mean, it looks like some fucking <laughs> Calvin weird Klein. Gay porn. You gotta get that. that Calvin Klein. You gotta get that show. video up on your website, man. Ouch. We Show don't have a video. Yet. We just have photos. Oh, you gotta redo it's it a now. Book. Redo. Do it. Get a video it. of that. That's Damn. fucking hysterical. Ben, what, what we were crying, and plus we were stoned out of our fucking mind, so it right. made it even more silly. <laughs> yeah, so Joe Rogan did the show with us in Vegas when we messed with Ed Asner, and uh, <laughs> you handed over this to us, and we uh, came back to New York and played it, but uh, why don't we play it again? He Wants It by Gangsta Fag. We might have to stop this in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> this is real. That's the best part about it. My boys one day Just kicking back Hanging out in L.A. When this dude drove by And this really funky band I could tell right away This motherfucker had AIDS Was a white dude About 30-something Kept staring at me Yelling like he wanted something He called me over And he asked for directions I saw his dick with his heart So I beat this card I said you lying You know you ain't lost You wanna suck my dick While I'm jacking you off <laughs> I, I, I got a wife and a kid And I'm very, very straight So I said take my number and my name You can call me up When you're sick of playing games I walked away, yo, I knew he would call, cause if you see one bag, they can see them all. <laughs> in, in what universe is that happening? Where Santa Monica some, Boulevard. Some white guy is straight and he's got a family and he pulls over to some big black guy <laughs> and, and wants to have some kind of sex with him. Atlanta. <laughs> is that where? I think there's probably a lot of guys like that with families <laughs> that are undercover. When I, when I was when I was down in Atlanta, they uh I was on that, uh, that what the hell, the uh, Chappelle Show tour. You know, all these black girls were showing up and going, God, look at these girls. These girls are gorgeous. And this dude was saying, you got to be careful down here because they have all those, what are they, down low brothers down here? Oh, uh, yeah. Where they, they have girlfriends and they're out fucking around. So there was kind of a high uh, HIV thing uh, kind of going around. Oh, great. That's a great Fantastic. thing just to put That's out there about need. Atlanta. Huh? Hey. So come to Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> no tsunamis, but a lot of AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> i get that on a poster. <laughs> all right, here we go. Back to Gangsta Fag. Oh. Uh. What the fuck you think? He needs some 
what the fuck you mean? He wants it. Cause if you see one bag, now you've seen them all. He wants That's like when you spot your first undercover hooker in Las Vegas, and all of a sudden you just see the whole scene. Oh yeah, there's a hooker. There's a hooker. He's from Wisconsin. Saying the same thing about gay guys. And he finally caught. He said his family was gone for a week or two. And he was really bored and needed something to do. So I drove to his crib up in Beverly Hills. A bomb man's house worth a couple of minutes. He said he was a gay, he just wanted to check. And I had five later, he massaging my back. In his white house, uh-huh. he gave me some head. When in the next room, fucked, fucked on his kids' bed. Fucked and we fucked uh-huh. like bitches in heat. I came on his face and then all over the sheets. So <laughs> when I started getting sore, I grabbed the kid's toy and I wiped my dick off. <laughs> my favorite line. He wiped his dick off on his kid's <laughs> toy. <laughs> Uh, so what the fuck you think? <laughs> so what the fuck you mean? Cause if you see one thing, then you see uh, Jimmy Jakes is suggesting uh, this should so be Eric's walking music. Cause if you see one thing, then you see them all. The dick was so good that he just couldn't pass up. So all that week, yeah, I'm tearing that up. He the bottom and he left the sucker. And after I was done, I let my whole voice fuck him. Fuck ass called me every day. I told him we were through, then he said he would pay. So now twice a week I'm getting paid to tackle. He lays me with the cash and, and the bees are platinum. One month later and the cat's out the bag. Cause this motherfucker started dressing in drag. But I did my thing and I had my fun with him. It's time to cut him off because I'm done with him. Crying like a bitch and he's starting to beg. He's falling on the ground holding on to my leg. Screaming don't leave please twist the G. But this is what you get when you fuck with me. Ha. It's not very nice to him. It's me. Yeah, I mean, fact. That's sensitive. If you see one fact, then it's like the guy loves him. And, you know, he's, he's so what the fuck you ditching him like that. There's another one, an anti-gay bashing one. Run from the faggots. That's a good one. Where all the faggots come and beat a guy up for gay bashing. <laughs> oh, this is just a message. That was his wife, I gather. That's an actress doing a voiceover. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, really good. Yeah. He, he went right. You know, I didn't think you could bring it over the top with that song. But at the end, he brings it over the top, and he has to have the message from the little kid saying his toy is sticky. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Oh. Gangster fag. Ooh. <laughs> Brutal. Uh, Kenny. Wait. Jersey. Yo. What's up, Kenny? Gangster fag, yo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> People want to hear Gangsta Fag. fag. All right, we got him. <laughs> the name of the band is Gangsta Fag, or the name of the rapper. He's a black hardcore uh, rapper. But he's gay. Yeah, but he's gay, and he's proud of it, and he uh, he raps about it. Shit. You ever get him on the phone? We're trying to find this guy, right? Joe Rogan turned us on to this guy. He Joe Rogan gave us this CD <laughs> at uh, the poker thing in L.A. when we were broadcasting from that last year. And it's uh, one of the favorite uh, things we like doing on this show is playing yeah. some gangsta fag. Well, favorite? I don't know. It's up there. It's disturbing. It's very disturbing, but people enjoy it out Are there. Are you playing the one about... Uh, he wants it. He wants it. <laughs> this is so bad. It's want, so disgusting. You want to set up the song for Patrice? Uh, well, it's a gangsta fag. Uh, well, the song's story is there's this uh, uh, gangsta and... Uh, He's a fag. Okay. And um, he hooks up with this white, uh, I, I don't know, he comes off like a businessman kind of guy. Rich businessman. Who's married, has kids. But nice house, he, nice job. He's bi-curious, I guess, and checks it out. And once he's had a taste of gangster fag, he doesn't want to, like, he latches on to this guy and just wants him all the time. And gangster fag just, you know, used him as a, a lay. And he, intric- he intricately put this together. Yeah. In a rap song. In a rap song, and it's just disturbing. Listen. Uh, yeah, that, that's it. By the way, this will just outrage the middle of America. The truckers will just... They'll, they'll pull out shotguns. 
the time. See, I was getting high with my boys one day. Just kicking back, hanging out in L.A. When this dude drove by in this really funky band. I could tell right away this motherfucker had his. Was a white dude, about 30-something. Kept staring at me, yelling like he wanted something. He called me over and he asked for directions. I saw his dick was hard, so I beat this car. I said, you dying, you know you ain't lost. You want to suck my dick while I'm jacking you off. And he said, oh no, there must be a mistake. I got a wife and a kid and I'm very, very straight. So I said, take my number and my name. You can call me up when you're sick of playing. Games. As I walked away, yo, I knew he would call Cause if you see one fag, they can see them all <laughs> He wants it. what the fuck you think? He needs it. what the fuck you mean? He wants it. cause if you see one fag, now you see them all <laughs> He wants it. so what the fuck you need? He needs it. so what the fuck you think? He wants it. cause if you see one fag, then you see them all so I knew that he'd be climbing the wall One week later and he finally called oh, no. He said his family's gone for a week or two And he was really bored and needed something to do So I drove to his crib up in Beverly Hills A poor man's house worth a couple of mills He said he wasn't gay, he just wanted to check And I had five or later, he massaging my back In his white room, he gave me some head Went in the next room and fucked on his kid's bed Fucked and we fucked like bitches in heat I came on his face and all over the sheets I knew that I was done when I started getting sore I grabbed the kid's toy and I wiped my dick off He's lying on the bed, still trying to recover. I'm pressed and I'm out as my car turns rubber. So what the fuck you think? So what the fuck you mean? Cause if you see one fag, then you see them all. So what the fuck you think? So what the fuck you mean? Cause if you see one fag, then you see them all. The dick was so good that he just couldn't pass up. So all that week, yeah, I'm tearing that ass up. Cause he loved to ride him and he loved to suck him. And after I was done, I let my homeboy fuck him. Now his punk ass called me every day. I told him we were through, then he said he would pay. So now twice a week, I'm getting paid to tap him. He laced me with the cash and the visa platinum. One month later, and the cat's out the bag. Cause this motherfucker started dressing in drag. But I did my thing and I had my fun with him. It's time to cut him off because I'm done with him. Crying like a bitch and he's starting to beg. He's falling on the ground, holding on to my leg. Screaming, don't leave, please twist it, G. But this is what you get when you fuck with me. Ha! He so what the fuck you think? He so what the fuck you mean? He Cause if you see one fag, then you see them all. He so what the fuck you mean? He so what the fuck you think? He Cause if you see one fag, then you see them all. Hello, I'm This is Punk Life. Tom's not gay, okay? I want you to stay away from Tom. He is not gay. We have a family and a son. And we have a life together. You stay away from you, son of a bitch. Don't push this. This is Tom. I'm calling to Sunday. Don't push this. 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 I don't think that part was necessary. Where Gangsta. the kid had to call up Gangsta Bag and ask why his toys were sticky. <laughs> Patrice is speechless, man. Isn't that awful? This is this is I mean, shocking, man. It's it is shocking. It's like it's it's shocking on a lot of levels. Like first of all, he got studio time. Like <laughs> like somebody gave this motherfucker studio time. Yeah, yeah. And the pride he's doing it with with the pride of a heterosexual. Yeah. Like, like that's exactly like the same tough song guy. Uh, yeah, I'm fucking this guy. So the niggas came. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so the motherfucker came with and the said, attitude and and the pride. Like that's how it really went down at the thing. He walked him to the to the rich white guy's car. Yeah. And goes, I see your dick is hard. What's up, nigga? You call me. That nigga call me. That motherfucker would have been screeching down the road with nine one one on his cell phone. <laughs> I think I was being carjacked. <laughs> Not fucking getting his phone number and shit. What's up, motherfucker? <laughs> Yo, what's up? What's your name? Anthony. Uh, what's up, nigga? Um, I heard you was worried about home invasions. If I'm there, don't worry about that shit. Uh, I got you. I got you. Opie. Damn. We got a trucker on the line. <laughs> That's a dope-ass name. <laughs> Mark. Mark the trucker. What's up? Motherfucker. Mark. Oh, 
Yeah, what's up? Hey, man. What's up, Mark? What's up, Mark? Oh, I just called to tell you, man, that's about the most fucked up song I've ever heard. Why is it so fucked up, Mark? God, <laughs> Why talking is it about, fucked up? Talking about grabbing the kid's toy and right, wiping his dick off with it. Man, come on. Well, what's up with that? What's wrong with that, nigga? You ain't got oh, no kid's man. toys? Where you at? That, that's just too much, man. You got room in the back of your truck, nigga? <laughs> All right. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> gangsta <laughs> fag. Gangsta fag. What's up? He's a gangsta He's a tough fag. One. He's like... He's a, he's a tough guy there. Holy Josh shit. Josh in D.C., what's up? What's up, guys? Hey. You know, the song isn't half bad, uh, but he, like you guys said, he's he's acting like he's like he's some gangster guy. talking instead of, instead of talking about bitches and hoes, he's just talking about another fag. Well, I'm trying to tell my story. <laughs> yeah, People yeah. don't hear my story, so if you could, I got to tell my shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> why is it, uh, why is it just got to be bitches and hoes? Why is it got to be bitches and hoes? Why can't it be tearing some man's ass you up? You understand? <laughs> Fuck that. You, you can back this one up. The black community wouldn't accept this. I mean, I I work with a lot of rap artists, and, and I know they wouldn't accept this, especially Washington, which is a heavy black area. They they wouldn't accept this. Yeah, I, I think it would be a little rough if you're, like, touring yeah. around town with your windows down, <laughs> cranking up grank, uh, grank exactly. stuff. Exactly. Right, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yo, fuck that. Niggas respect me and my pink rims. Yeah, and pink <laughs> rims. Hey, Stuart from Alabama says, nothing like having your stepdad walk in as you're listening to the little gangsta fag on your PC in Alabama. Yeah, that's something you don't want blasting too loud. But, and the music had just a touch of gay in it. Bing, yeah. bing, ding, ding. Bing, bing, you want to hear another bing, track? We've ding, never ding. played another track on the uh, show. I'll play it. Play it. Just Let's play it. Let's do it a Yo. Go ahead. What's I think show? this is called Closet. Yo, your balls look good, son. Yeah, yeah. So I'm sucking on some balls. <laughs> I think about the past and it hurts I'm just a little kid growing up in the church Fearing Jesus, believing in God uh -oh. Eight years old and I knew I was on Staring at the other little boys in the class My mouth is dry, my heart's beating fast I'm in the restroom, I'm taking the leak And every chance I get, you know I'm taking a peek <laughs> They looking at me, so I turn away quick I can't get caught, staring down at the dicks I wanna hold it in my hand, but I'm scared to try I wanna put it in my mouth, and I don't know why Oh, oh, shit. Holy shit. He just didn't explain it. And he's a gay Eminem man find with his storytelling. Because he could be just a guy that went to jail. Yeah. And he's not a sissy, but he's a fat. I don't know. He said he, when he was eight years old in church, he's looking at guys, uh, little boys in there with him. And oh, damn. Really? He this, to, listen to the story. Uh, you know what I'm listening to? The, the brother's voice. telling a story, Patrice. <laughs> I'm trying to share this shit with you. Put it out there and you're blowing that shit off. <laughs> I'm trying to share this shit with you. And you you making light of this shit. You know what I'm saying? I told you I was having difficulties not looking at men's balls. Ain't you nigga. feeling the brother? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's the matter with you? And don't come in this motherfucker with you. Your name being Opie no more, cause I can't concentrate up in this bitch. Go by Greg. You go, <laughs> and you right. stop opening your eyes, motherfucker. Can we Come get back to his sunglasses, nigga? Can we get back to his story? <laughs> yeah, all right. He's eight years old so Where far. He? He's in the church bathroom and, ah, and he's he, looking at some dick and wants keep to keep his eye off the dick. Ah. Wants to touch it. Why? These are the things that I'm hoping to get every single night when I'm stroking my dick. I'm real confused, but there's no one to tell. I know my life is good, and I'm going to hell. Cause I'm living in the closet. See, I'm trapped in the closet. See, I'm living in the closet. Help me, I'm in the closet. See, I'm living in the closet. See, I'm trapped in the closet. Cause I'm living in the closet. Help me, I'm in the closet. <laughs> 13, and it's all getting worse. Uh -oh. I'm going through puberty, and this shit is a curse. 24 7, now I'm thinking about death, but I'm still a virgin, and it's making me sick. I tried to get with this girl just to try to get off, but I started getting sick, and my dick stayed soft. I knew that me and girls wasn't meant to be. I knew that fucking with that pussy wasn't meant for me. I met this guy named Tim, who lived down the street. I used to sneak in his house when his mom was asleep. We used to suck dick and make love all night. I didn't know if it was wrong, but it felt so right. It was a secret that we vowed to keep. The sex was really good, but the guilt ran deep. The truth was, I was in love with a man. And it was something that this world could never understand. They got their dicks in the air like they just don't care yet. <laughs> See, I'm trapped in the closet. Oh. 
Well, what do you think so far? <laughs> in the closet. It, it is, it what happens when he gets a little older? You want to hear it? I he just, got it. He was only up to 13. <laughs> and uh, the pain of him. See, this is the thing that even if he was singing it with a feminine voice, like, yeah. you know, and then I couldn't take it. But this motherfucker's like, you know, yeah. you know I was blowing this nigga in the blood. It's like, <laughs> just, you know what? To, to even tell a story about how I got stuck up in the park with a pistol is painful, but he's just right. going through the life of a, of a, of a dude. That sounds like this. Yeah, and man. God knows what he looks like, and he's like, yeah, and he got enough balls to go in a studio and put this out, and in the rap world, and now there's gonna be R&B songs like where, where he's trying to get like the the rap part of the R&B right, song, right, right, right. You know, like yeah. Mariah Carey, like, oh, we love each other. And he's like, you know what? I don't love you, bitch. I love this motherfucker. <laughs> I need some dick. <laughs> I need some dick. Where's Usher up in this motherfucker? <laughs> All right, let's see what happens to him here. What happens to him? Because every day that I awake, I pray to load myself to take. Because I'm a victim of my fate. Because this world ain't right with me. And some days I just stay high. And watch the days just pass me by. But I still refuse to cry. Because this world ain't right with me. One day me and Tim got caught. And the consequences was worse than I thought. My parents threw me out and I got disowned. Now it's me against the world and I'm all alone. They cursed me out and they called me a fag. I left with all my clothes in a plastic bag. I learned the streets can be cold and vile. And believe me, if you're gay, then it's twice as wild. I fought a lot, I've been stabbed and shot. Motherfuckers trying to kill me, cause I don't like twat. In no time, I learned to ride for mine. And not to give a fuck if you like my kind. I'd rather be dead than be living a lie. And I won't be a fag till the day that I die. So now they got me not giving a fuck. And I'm saying fuck the world, and I'm living it up. Cause I'm living in the closet. Yeah. See, I'm trapped in the closet. Cause I'm living in the closet. So help me, I'm in the closet. You think the producer just sat there, like, I'm living in the closet. and went, uh, <laughs> like the song's over and he had no clue what it was all about? <laughs> yeah, good take. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and he did the newspaper, uh, yeah, yeah. The newspaper set? Uh, uh, good. Yeah, it sounded good. Uh, I think, uh, yo, what's up? Yeah, I just wanted to give you my demo. Uh, yeah, yeah, worked, we listened. I worked hard on this. Well, you know, I listened to it, uh, mm. gangster. <laughs> and it's a very limited market you're going for. I think you're looking at a niche here that's <laughs> a little hard to fill. Yo, trust me, motherfucker. There's mad people that's gangster fags, and they're going to buy this shit. Trust me. Yeah. 10% of motherfuckers is gay. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's a lot of motherfuckers. And you heard uh, me include a white boy in one of the yeah, songs, nigga. That's so some crossover to, I'm shit. I'm trying to cross that shit over, yo. I sucked a white man's dick. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about. Niggas can't get a fair shake. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked a white man. <laughs> that could get me on a country charts, motherfucker. <laughs> country. <laughs> you don't think the <laughs> That is, he is hardcore, man. Oh, yeah. my shit. Thanks to Fag. I saw he has a MySpace. Uh, is that true? And, and uh, was Rogan. Was it a MySpace account or is it Joe Rogan's account? It's a MySpace. It's a MySpace. It's fake. Huh? Rogan was his friend. Oh, it's fake? Oh, it's a fake one? You sure? Yeah. It's got pictures of us all over. Oh, it's got pictures of us all oh, over? Somebody. That's great. Oh, great. Oh, oh who was that businessman? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you want to hear one more? <laughs> Fucking why not, man? Pop right. up Gangsta Fag. I'm looking at him going platinum. Here's a song called The Faggots from Gangsta Fag. Oh, okay. <laughs> Another motherfucker, twisted GB. This one is dedicated to Mr. Eminem. Uh oh. Got something for your ass, Mr. Eminem. Oh, you gonna fuck Eminem. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Rap's worst nightmare, this nigga here. Yeah. Cause I remember when I saw you on the first date On your video with you and fucking nurse train Looking whiter than some motherfucking yo play I knew you wanted to be black in the worst way You with the black dudes walking and you're talking it But they were filling up your ass with milky chocolate Now some is ripping off your ass like it's white gravy Oh yeah, sorry about your mom's Mr. Crap Baby I bet she's proud that you trying to be black though 
I'm feeling sorry for that motherfucking crack hoe. The truth is that you know that she knows the deal. I bet you scared cause you know that she knows the real. Mr. Eminem, sweeter than the candy bag. Mr. Eminem, you in the fucking closet bag. I know the truth then I know your fucking game. Yeah. And I don't give a fuck what's your motherfucking name. It's just trying to well, it's get Eminem all agitated so he writes a song about him. He's a genius. Yeah. He picked a white boy, but it's a genius move on him. You could fool me, no, not to have a freeze. I know that D12 equals up to 12 Ds. That's 12 dicks in your motherfucking house for ya. That's 12 dicks in your motherfucking mouth for ya. So is it true that you blondes have the most fun? So is it true that you blondes suck the most come? The next time you're with the man, shut your venue. Now you can brag, you got a whole lot of black up in you. Your blonde bitch ass looking like Marsha Brady. All right, you gotta. Well, yeah, the taste yeah they kind of, and they all sound the same. But it's like if he gets another producer, this is what happens. That that mm-hmm. was the that was the most genius song he did because, you know, uh, it's a lot it, home it, home it, home home homosexuality is really not the thing in rap. So if this nah. nigga is is, is no, I played the wrong one. Yeah. Oh, son of a. What bitch. happened? That's what I did wrong. Wait a minute, I want to see if you screwed up. This this dude, this dude, if he starts, but see, he pulled that shit on a white boy. He just took a, he, you know, he pulled that shit on Eminem. He needs to go out there and. and he's hoping Eminem like comes, comes back, back at, at him, him, but he's not gonna come back no. at him though. But if he starts talking no. about he's gonna rape and fuck rappers, somebody's gonna listen to this motherfucker. Yeah. Or he's gonna get killed. I hope he's really a gangster. <laughs> so gangster fag, I hope you're really a fucking soldier, dude. Ends up with some yeah. fucking bullet holes in Man, him. Yeah. He's called twelve. I played the wrong one. You did? Yeah. That was the Eminem song, obviously. Yeah. It was labeled wrong. That wasn't very good. Uh, I know. It's a, the the, the best a tracks are the ones where he's talking about, you know, his own issues. His own life. Uh, his himself, <laughs> his life. Those are the interesting stories. <laughs> you helping him make his, make his marketing decisions. <laughs> yeah. We're going to take a chance to go back into this bit. People want to hear about you. Yo, managers. Yo, Opie, <laughs> Anthony, what should be my first motherfucking uh, track? What do you think I should drop? You know, I- I'm thinking the one where you fuck the white guy is a little much for the first uh, track. Uh, I like the one where you tell your story about, you know, how you wanted to <laughs> suck that dick as a kid. So you think the- you think my life story perspective is better That's than, like, fucking the- white men. Right. But uh, but then, you know, uh, by the third track in, I think everyone will be familiar with you enough uh-huh. and-, and have this relationship with uh-huh. you, as it were, to uh-huh. where they would be comfortable with you fucking the white businessman. Uh-huh. So you think... All right, so you think it's better for me to talk about how it's fucking motherfuckers growing up as opposed That's to fucking start with. like white collar motherfuckers. Well, yeah. you know, they college be white when I finish with the that's motherfuckers. Right. See, <laughs> now that's the fun <laughs> and humor. So, so, you know, you got to work them up to the point where then you're rubbing, uh, you're c- wiping like, your like cum up on their like toys, frothing, on their kid toys. Getting frothing, like get them built up ready for this. There you go, you know, gangsta I understand bag. what I'm saying. I understand. Mm-hmm. So you think there is a niche for me up in well, this let's, let's It pick. could work. Let's take a listen to the faggots because this could be the hit. Yeah, listen. All right, chick, t- go fuck that Eminem shit. I think you're right about that. Fuck the way. All right, put faggots in, right? Uh, what, uh, gangsta fag, what's the faggots? What, what's the, what's this about? Look, before nigga, we hear it. No, <laughs> before we fuck, hear it. It's like if the song was called Motherfucking Kitten. What do you think it's about, nigga? <laughs> it's about the faggots. Yeah, we need a little your more, song though. It's called Cheese. Yo, it's about me. And, yo, just put What do we in. put on the box? What put, do we put on the box? Right, just all listen to it. You help me through it. I'll tell you what my ideas are. All right, and you right, tell me what the fuck gangsta y'all fag. The is, uh, faggots. We gon' sit down and take a piss. Another motherfucking twisted GB. Come on, nigga. This one is dedicated to Mr. Eminem. Got something for your ass, Mr. Eminem. It keeps popping. Yo, back that's not truck. faggots, man. What's up? Uh, What's on. up? Sorry about that. Here's the faggots. It's more like it, yo. Stop you playing that Eminem shit, yo. Faggots. Yeah, I like this stuff. Yo, suck on this right here, you know. Uh, put your dick back in your pants. <laughs> nah, it's weed. It's weed, yo. <laughs> oh, the weed. Oh, the fronts. Try, try to play me, yo. <laughs> Now I just finished fucking my man. Now I'm laying in the bed with my dick in his in hand. Fucking head. He gets up and he says he's thirsty. He's going, he's going to the store to get a 40 year old. Uh, he kissed me and told me I'll be back. I laid the fuck down and started taking a nap. I passed the fuck out because I'm tired like a mother. That's when I heard a scream and the car burning rubber. I grabbed my gat and I ran outside. I told my baby the fuck on the ground and they beating him down. 
Yeah. They had him out numbered one to eight. They calling him a bag and they kicking his face off. I put my gat and I'm letting it spit. And I don't really care, give a fuck who I hit. They jump in the car, now they run like bitches. The dead motherfuckers just dug the ditches. Run for the baggage, run for the baggage. You know that's what they teach, and I bring the fuck. Yeah. Run for the baggage, run for the baggage. I guess you picked the wrong fucking bike to fuck with. Run for the baggage. You got to admit, wow. it's catchy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. run from the package. You feeling that shit? You feeling I like it? that, run Who's from gonna the package. Who's going to be humming that later today? That was fucking my boo up, yo. It was hitting my boo in his mouth, and like, I had to come out and take care of that business. This is real shit happened, too, yo. <laughs> I came out in my drawers, yo. Look at this guy, uh, Bill Kirkland from Ohio. He can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like, get oh. that fag shit off my fucking XM radio. This morning's show sucks. <laughs> like, he's one of these guys who's really uncomfortable with word, it. Word, 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 <laughs> Mr. Ohio. <laughs> first first letters are O, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For asshole, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we up in there, we up in there. We in Ohio, Dude, too. Dude, you gotta relax. Don't worry so much. <laughs> Don't worry, you listen to it. It's not gonna turn you <laughs> into a fag. Fuck a minute. You can't tell a motherfucker from Ohio, not that he's scared of heterosexual black men. So now there's some fag black dudes that are still the same black guys that he's scared of. These ain't sissies. This nigga's like, what's up, white man? Get against the tree. That's what the weirdest part of this fucking national audience is. The weirdest part of having a national him, audience. How can you tell him not to be scared? If I came in there and said, yo, how you doing? I don't suck dick. He'd lose his mind. He would get scared just right. to, just if I go, I don't yeah. suck dick. I'm chilling. Yo, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yo, is your daughter around or anything like that? He'll be like, mother, but if I come around and go, yo, is your son around? If he's not around, yo, nigga. <laughs> now he's, yeah, freaking out. Did I you, just want to say. You mean they can rob you and fuck you? <laughs> <laughs> this is fear. <laughs> you know this is the last state that voted for Bush. This is, put these motherfuckers put Bush in office. You think gangster fag, this nigga's not driving it. He's stopped right now. Somebody's picking it. They can carjack me and fuck me up here. <laughs> that's a, that's Don't a new worry. Fear. So a new fear. So to you have to decide what you're going to tell the cop. <laughs> when you was robbed or fucked? <laughs> um, Both. Should I lose my diamond wine? But I was raped. Yeah, how do you explain your story to the cop? Hmm. <laughs> you see, there was this uh, gangster. <laughs> <laughs> he took my BMW and all my money. You can't, you can't blame a guy <laughs> in Ohio for this. Is so, uh, I should give him a pass. You should give him a pass all because right, this is so. Only people in L.A. and New York mm -hmm. could ever find this to be funny because we understand this whole thug, yeah. this, this down low, gangster fag, this thug, uh, what they call it, homo thug shit. Uh, that shit's inner cities. This, well, this poor Bill motherfucker. Bill Kirkland is sitting there. I'm Bill Kirkland, and I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to hear this kind of stuff. This morning's show sucks. It's the, it's, right. It's the, He's the, all angry. Because he has no point of view. He's just, this is no. complete fear, but he doesn't want to go, I'm so scared of this. He He's just, he has to go, it. you guys stink. He's, He's for picturing a show that's like, give him mama jokes. <laughs> a battle of the sexes. He's picturing like that he's the guy in the car and, and, and the gangster fag came up and, and it's freaking him out. It's, 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 you, it's scary. You, it's the middle of the country, dude. You yeah. travel around this goddamn country. I got thrown out of Ohio. I was in Cleveland. They tossed me the fuck out of, out of I started talking about the war, the bitch, because we, we can't have you here. We, yeah. She yeah. paid me and got me the fuck out of her goddamn wow. town. And this guy, you can't right, blame well. him. All right, Bill. You get a pass. Let's yeah, go, uh, pass. let's get back to the faggots. <laughs> On here, the rest of uh, the faggots. Now my boo's in the hospital. Do you think they get away? That's impossible. Because I'm a terrorizer like they gang of eight raps. Because they picked the wrong fucking fag that gave bash. I know who they are because I've seen them before. And now you know it's time for me to settle the score. So I call my dogs and we hit the street. Three craziest fags that you hate to meet. So we headed out to this country bar. We drove around the back and we spotted the car. So we laid low and then four came out. And when they turned around, we stuck the gas in their mouth. Put them on their knees, now they're sucking our dicks. We <laughs> nutted on our face, and we watching it drip. Now get the fuck up and give you three to run. One, two, the motherfuckers are done. Oh, they shot him too? Hey, what the fuck is made him suck that dick? Who saw that coming, man? This this is that's scary. hardcore. This is scary to a motherfucker in the Bronx. Let alone Ohio. Run from the baggage, run from the baggage. I guess you picked the wrong fucking bag to fuck with. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Once, yo, there was in time back in the days 
Motherfuckers used to run up on fags and figure, you know, you could do whatever the fuck you want to them, you know what I'm saying? But this is like a new time, a new motherfucking age. So the next motherfucker you run up on trying to call, call yourself what? Game fashion motherfucker? You gonna end up being a motherfucking fag yourself. Believe that shit, kid. Now we're hot for the head to rolls. Four down and four motherfuckers to go. So we laid low and stay blazed on weed. That's when we get to call and that's all we need. We get the address of the place they rest. Grab the artillery and bags of sex. Kick in the door and we see y'all victims. Four rednecks and the girls are with them. Step in the room and you can smell the fear. Don't nobody move cause the bags are here. For the parties, only watch you make it. Make gold the guys strip and get butt naked. Put them on the knees, now we're fucking them all. Let that shit off my cock while you're rubbing my balls. The girls in tears as you watch them suck it. I guess you picked the wrong fucking bag to fuck with. I just is scary now. I'll murder your ass. And then I'll murder your ass. Oh, he's gonna... <laughs> and your girl's gonna watch. <laughs> Check yourself, motherfuckers. Next time you try to run up on a motherfucker, check uh-huh. yourself. I have something for your ass. Wow, that well, was scary. He doesn't seem like he's walking down the street for anybody to know he's a fag. Like, uh, well, it all go- depends. He could be all tough and, and shit and dressed like the goddamn village people leather guy. Then you'd know. Well, and the tough thing, too, is that you, no matter how tough of gay guy, he fucks you up, you still got to explain it. So if I get my oh. ass beat by a gangster fag, I still got to go. <laughs> everybody's laughing at me, and I still got to go. <laughs> He'll fuck you up too. He's big guy, man. <laughs> don't he'll whoop your don't that motherfucker can fight. Don't you think just because he's a fag that you know that nigga got guy can't kick your he ass. got fists like a man and and you know fags are sneaky. You know what he did? Oh man, let me Dude, tell you what he did. That nigga, I got a picture of that nigga, man. He on my space. Look how big he is, man. He knocked you out. He knocked you out, Betty Wood. The guy is. Frightening. Oh. Let's go to Cindy in New Jersey. Cindy. Hi. Hey. Have you guys ever heard of the Stonewall in uh, New York City? No. No. All right. Well, it's a big gay bar, and they have Good thug answer, night. Opie. Thank you. Huh? And they have thug night there. Thug so night. And what's and what's that about? It's all gangster guys. Get it's out funny of here. as hell. Yeah. I thought there was maybe one or two. It's, it's a lot. lot. It's it's not a joke. And see, white women think it's funny right now. That this whole DL thing, yeah. But you don't, you do not play around with the DL shit with black women. They do not fuck around with this gay thing. Yeah, what what happens? <laughs> it's just, it's just like you can't even play around. You can't even play like we playing right now. You can't play around in front of black women about this this whole because this uh, it, this guy wrote a book the uh, uh, on the DL I think, uh-huh. and and black women are just deathly. Uh, my my mother she hates that whole <laughs> gay guys that fuck women and shit. Yeah, she does not play yeah. around with that shit. Because they're gay, but they fuck women and on the down low, they go out and uh, uh, hook up. Yep. Emily. Yeah. What's up, Emily? Hey, nothing. How are you guys? Uh, we're having fun today. How's, ha- how's your oh, good. H- How's your dad looking forward to the big move in uh, January? <laughs> and where? Oh, I, I, I thought Emily. I, sorry. Oh, I thought oh. it was another uh, Emily calling wow. in. Wow. No, this is the Emily from Ohio. Oh, okay. <laughs> she seems she feels safe now. They're all gay, thank God. I was worried. I was worried about the ones that'll rape me. I fucked her in a pussy and made a friend watch. Oh God. Oh. What do you got, Emily? Four guys getting fucked in the ass as their girls watch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that gangster fag is ruthless. It's <laughs> fucking ruthless. And then the other guys behind the bar made him suck their dick nuts all over their face, and then tells him to run. Like the degradation wouldn't be bad enough for the rest of their lives. It would have eaten away. They wouldn't have been able to look at each other. And the guy wouldn't even heard run. After he got k- raped and came in the face, yeah. he would run, motherfucker. He'd go like this for about five seconds. Then he'd go, huh? What? What happened? What's I just, oh, I, run, run. You um, know they couldn't see their friends anymore. They could, they'd could. they be fucked up for life, but Gangsta Fag, no, it's not good enough. Yeah, I'm just going to shoot I, I them all Gangsta anyway. I think Gangsta Fag messed it up there. And wait, Gangsta and Fag was a good opportunity. Yeah, yeah. He was fighting straight gangsters, so you got to go get your boys, right? Yo, yo, nigga. Yo, we got to go kill this motherfucker. What happened? <laughs> yeah, mother, <laughs> motherfucker rape me, yo. <laughs> so me and my three buddies are hanging out at the bar, and we go out to the car like we leaving. We've had a few. 
<laughs> and these three fucking we fags. We chilling, yo. They fucking come up, these gangster fags. Then you got to convince yourself that ain't gay. That's not gay. That's the new shit. That's the new straight help. guy shit. Is the yo? The, that's so ill. <laughs> it's the so show nigga and then rape him, yo. That's what we do now. Dude, they, do they, they held guns to our heads and then we're sucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> and after they come on our faces, <laughs> now now I'm pissed. And like, <laughs> now I'm pissed. Now go get your guns. Uh, hold on, nigga. <laughs> what happened? Wait, what happened? <laughs> what happened? Wait, and you allowed this to happen? You you left the right. bar with what? <laughs> How did these fuckers know you, and what did they do? Why? You're not listening, yo. I told you. Listen, man. I told you. They what? walked up. I'm going to tell you. I'm and they, tell suck, you. they sucked your dick? No, no. We sucked their <laughs> dick. <laughs> <laughs> Get your shit, man. Get your shit, yo. Yo, we gotta no. ride, son. We ooh. gotta ride. And he looks at his watch. No, ooh, look at this. Ooh. I got shit to do around here, but I would love to help you out. Mm -hmm. You should call the police. Yeah. Nigga, we gangsters. We don't call the cops. I don't, you know, we yeah. deal with drugs, murder. Yeah, Not, yeah. I don't ooh. know. Not rape. You can't. This is, I, I've never heard this before. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, go, yo, yo, go, yo. I got it, man. I'm all fucked up. Yo, 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 yo go with the O E. Nah, man. Nah, no, man. we're gonna have some tea. We ain't this is tea. homo boy. Yeah, this is tea time. That is Listen. rough. <laughs> that is. This is rough. green tea time. Just sit down. Let's green explain. <laughs> Look, chamomile. Let's go to <laughs> <need> to relax. <laughs> but Emily, I think uh, Emily, we'll try yeah. you again. What's up? Hey, nothing. <laughs> I was just calling to say this is the funniest shit I have ever heard. You like the uh, gas effect? Uh, oh, my God. You've got to find this guy. Yeah, we don't know where he is. Uh, someone's asking where can we buy this for Christmas. <laughs> well, <laughs> Joe Rogan just handed this to us at a poker tournament in yeah, L.A. That's by all the way, we know. This is Rogan. Did purchase that? I know. Did Joe Rogan purchase that? I have no idea. Maybe we could get him on the phone. Or I don't think Joe Rogan has He's anything to do with gangster facts. I would be very surprised. You okay? Oh, uh, you no, okay? Rogan handed us and said, man, this is some of the funniest shit you'll ever hear. Oh, that's what it is. No, man. <laughs> then can email Joe and find out. I'm pretty far from okay. <laughs> <laughs> Like, even Marcellus Wallace wasn't fucking right after that shit. <laughs> like, he took care of that fag. And don't tell nobody about this Yeah, that's shit. the first thing. It's like, <laughs> first, no one needs to know what happened here tonight. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, Marcellus. <laughs> Second, I'm going to call some hardcore pipe-hitting niggas. Hard-hitting oh, niggas. They're, they're going to work up Mr. Rapist here <laughs> with a pair of pliers and a blowtorch. And then they edited out his friends coming after he told that. Oh. Yo, this is Marcellus. <laughs> I just got my soul back, right? As <laughs> soon as I got my soul back, niggas rape me. Now get over here, hard pipe hitting niggas. You can only imagine how he choreographed what happened to fucking dead in that basement. So slow. Yo, this cop raped me. Oh, Marcellus. <clears throat> you know, Marcellus. Had to then kill everyone that killed that fucking Zed. <laughs> he couldn't leave him out there. <laughs> he called Sam Jackson first. You know, that show? <laughs> you know that show was going, I mean, the movie was all going. Yeah, moment. back and forth. They cut out the part where he told Sam, come on down, we got to kill this nigga. Sam, man, something bad happened. <laughs> Those motherfuckers were talking about Tony Rocky Hart being thrown out the window. Like, they're not going to talk about myself getting fucked in the ass. <laughs> they're talking about Rocky Hart was thrown out the window. Myself threw him out. I hear it was over the fucking foot massage on his wife. You what, nigga? <laughs> this is shut the fuck up. What you say, Marcel? You got fucked in that? You got raped? Nigga, I'm having a corn muffin and I'm gonna walk away from that. Quit. I quit. I ain't killing nobody else. <laughs> you called a wolf to clean that shit up. No, nigga, you better call, he called him Harvey Keitel. <laughs> nigga, call Harvey Keitel behind this shit. <laughs> they was fucking your ass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That nigga was on some mushroom cloud laying shit on your oh. ass. <laughs> God, you need the Bible, nigga. <laughs> oh, oh, that crap. was it. Oh, my God. Yeah, of course. There you go. When those little scamps get together, they're like a sewing circle. <laughs> <laughs> they be giggling as he's trying to be tough and motherfuckers going, <clears throat> You giggling? No. No. Uh. 
Yo, man, you my nigga. You want him to take that Band-Aid off your neck and Pierce put it on your self. ass? <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Any other jokes? <laughs> yeah, my sons, I'd rather die than not joke about you getting fucked in your ass. You are not the boss no more, nigga. I'll take a pat or a pack of uh, red assholes. Red apple. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! I knew I'd say that in front of him. Oh, my God. Gangsta <laughs> fag. What a... What a find. Let's go to Devil Dan. Devil Dan, what's up? No, we lost Devil Dan. He, went, uh, he was uh, wondering if that's the soundtrack uh, to Oz. Let's say hi to Rob in Montana. Rob. Yeah, hi. Uh, even a redneck motherfucker like me thinks this is funny shit. All <laughs> oh, right, on, man. Because rednecks ain't scared. This that Ohio guy. See, rednecks ain't yeah. giving a fuck about some Rednecks gang. don't care. They want a go, gangster fag to come running around. You know you what I mean? You go up to the northern states like that in the middle of the country. Now they're it's starting to scary. go like, hey, 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 yeah. enough of this. I've got to drive my car, and people are listening in the carpool. Yeah, my, this guy, he's he. Matter of fact, he he taped this. He's gonna play that um, against them when they're practicing with their uh, oh, with the their range. Jewish dummies that they. <laughs> <laughs> what do they call Can the they use Jewish dummies the Jewish down at the firing range? The Jewish dummies. <laughs> and he, they released the dogs on the black dummies, and <laughs> and this, and and he's they're not worried about. It. They're gonna play gangster fact oh. just to keep it. All right, fellas, we've been yeah, our, our momentum this. has been a little down lately. We haven't been doing what we're supposed to do, so I'm gonna motivate you by. Letting you know what's out there. Yeah. Hit it. I'm going to fuck you in the butt. Oh, shit. Lock and load, boys. <laughs> and we're going to play this music real loud. <laughs> oh, yeah. they just be unloading. Oh. What the fuck? I'm going to shoot the speakers. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone trying to get in right now. Wheel uh, in Denver. Wheel, what's up? Hey, uh, what's up with these uh, chicks calling in talking about how funny this is? This is the most frightening shit. I've ever <laughs> you know why it's fucking funny? Because it's 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 you getting right now. It's yeah. the fear of men. It's like women are like see how it feels, and they just like yay. <laughs> when it's hoes and shit, that's fine. We'll listen and laugh and sh But when it's like a guy, you're like all of a sudden, hey, I've you know. I've said some bad things about gay people in a bar, and I've left out the door with my friends, and uh, all of a gun is in my mouth, and all of a sudden we have become the hoes. Thanks, the fag makes me suck his dick. And then, wait, and then right. see now guys do when we want to relax ourselves with this type of shit. We go, all right, um, all right, would you rather get shot in the head or suck a dick? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I say, uh, oh, shoot me, mother. <laughs> I love. I know. I love the, the stories that come up. It's like, dude, I would bite that motherfucker's <laughs> cock off. Be the last fucking time he ever. So you would have a cock in your mouth, faggot. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, no, for survival. <laughs> right. If I'm in prison. You know, the first guy tries to rape me. Getting his fucking dick bit off and then they leave me alone. Motherfucker, he so I, I put on my Freddy Krueger gloves and, I, <laughs> right. and trick him. Do I make a and ring? I act like I'm hand jobbing him. <laughs> Slice his dick off. I'll oh. get a job in the fucking license plate factory <laughs> and I'll make a metal ring with fucking jagged edges. I'll shove that up my ass 24 7. That fuck. First person tries to fuck me, they're pulling shredded meat out of the fuck. <laughs> That's what I do. Yeah, sure. That's what you do. That's Gang why he's going to jiggle around in there with the plunger handle first. <laughs> Make sure it's safe. Gangster fag has it all figured out. Oh, the yeah. You pull the gun out, you put your ass in the air. Yeah. And, and you're like, ah, I'm going to get him. I got something to shred. If you got something that'll shred my dick in your ass, I'm going to shoot you in the back of your motherfucking God, head. Motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker tried to put some shit up his ass. <laughs> he tried to shred my dick, but that was very quick. <laughs> Let's go to Craig the Trucker. <laughs> Hey, boy. Next thing you know, I shank the bitch. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. I'm a shanking fag. I'm a shanking fag out in the yard, looking at the boys getting hard. <laughs> I'll stab you everywhere, suck your dick. <laughs> oh, shit. Craig the trucker, what's up, Craig? Oh, I, I'm amazed. I have never in my life heard radio like this. This is, uh, uh, dare I say, a shocking radio. <laughs> well, of course, shock jocks. Yeah, I, uh, shock jocks. Wow. Keep up the good work, boys. Oh, All right, Craig. God. Gangsta right. fag is just hilarious. Gangsta fag. Because you could, the fear, oh. this is, because if he was on there going, 
you know, I flew in, I flew in my plane and I yeah. landed on his balls. People be like, this sissy yeah. motherfucker. But this dude's like, yo, I took this, my smashed his face up again. And then I, <laughs> and then I mushed his head up in the toilet. It's just like, this is yeah. fear. This is prison coming out in the open. <laughs> this is it. This is the fi- Thank you, gangster fag. I'm this bringing is- the yard to you. <laughs> I'm bringing the yeah. <laughs> He's bringing the fucking, the, the little nook and cranny in the laundry room right to your back door. <laughs> this That's is, it. This is v- visceral That's shit. What happened? I thought you had to be locked up for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not with gangster fag. Rick, the trucker. Hey, boys. Hey. I tell you what, I turned my XM on this morning. I heard that shit. I thought a, my damn fucking XM broke on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking fuckin your ass. ass. I'm gangster <laughs> fag. <laughs> Make ass bleed, I won't even use a bag. <laughs> oh, he's not using a bag. Oh, I can't wait till he makes him about raping uh, rednecks. I took him by his goatee and I fucking <laughs> rode his booty. <laughs> I fucked him in the back of his NASCAR car. <laughs> John in Jersey. John. Ah, John, go. He had a good one, too. Tissue time with gangster fag. <laughs> that would have been a great line. Uh, I snuck into his trailer <laughs> in the trailer park. <laughs> oh. Well, we want to thank Joe Rogan for turning us uh, on to Gangsta Fag. Good God, mother of He Jesus. gave that to us at uh, the World Poker Tour. Only Rogan could find something like that. Did, did he go, hey, Joe, what's up, man? I know you host UFC. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of karate going on up in this bitch. Yeah. How do you get but that I was wondering, um, my name is uh, Gangsta Faggot, right? And, uh, <laughs> no offense, man. I know you know your shit, your karate and shit. I mean, I got a gun in case you want to you know, do that karate shit up in here. I needed to make uh, Redneck suck my dick. <laughs> I need the gun. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just was raping niggas and shit, but I, I wouldn't rape you, Joe, but I know you know niggas, right? And, uh, you know. Uh, you think you know, this guy's for real, or you think it's some... Uh, some rapper that's you know, just fucking around. His his voice is hard. It sounds a little bit like insane clown pot. It's, it's it sounds. It, it, usually you can't fake hard. I don't think you could fake. Like I, I like, like you this. know I'll try. Yeah, I can fuck around, but I I'm, you know you can't, I can't yeah. fake as more than hard. You can't fake hard. He sounds like he. The, I think this guy grew up right. Got his ass kicked a lot. He can fight. He can up. definitely fight. But uh, then like decided he reached a point where he's like. That's it. I'm hitting the fucking gym. Yeah. He hit the fucking way. He had those goddamn Tukey arms on him. Those fucking that's what I'm s- Tukey Williams arms yeah, on him. That's what I'm saying. Those and now he's just fucking, choking man. shit out. Choking. I'm going to choke you till you're almost unconscious. <laughs> just, uh, just, you just have enough consciousness to, to know I'm fucking you. <laughs> oh, my God. It, it, that's what it is. He can fight. It sounds... Uh, you know, maybe the the stories were a little bit exaggerated, but it, he sounds. I don't think he fucked voice. that white guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he wiped his cum on the kid's Wait, toys. After all that shit, he's like, you know what? That I ain't know, buying that, that shit. That's nah. a little too far. Nah, he didn't fuck that. Some white DJ dude. didn't think I was telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked his ass and cum on his tooth. <laughs> <laughs> I think that motherfucker might be. I don't know. You never know, man. A lot of talk, but he's if he got enough balls to try to be famous with this gig. Yeah, he, he he's not a a pussy, and I you know I use the term. Oh, that's your bold yeah. statement yeah. there. I, <laughs> you know, he's pussy. Jim's got a comment. Jim in New York. Yeah, this is uh, how uh, Andrew Dice Gay would sound like. <laughs> Andrew Dice Gay. <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I'm hanging out with these fags. <laughs> Hickory dickory dock. Hey, hey, write your own joke. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dice was good. <laughs> there wasn't a woman who lived in a shoe. I hate chicks, so I found a guy to swallow my goo. <laughs> oh! <laughs> there was a man that lived in a boot. <laughs> I fucked him most <laughs> I fucked him so hard. He had the poot. Oh! Andrew Dice Gay. I'm the Dice Man lover. Oh. See my sparkled bedazzled jacket? My leather? Yeah, yeah. Used to say Dice. Now look. Faggot. <laughs> I just wrote in, uh, in uh, rubies and rhinestones. Big faggot. <laughs> That's what I do now. Uh-huh. I'm over here now. I used to be over there. 
No, I'm over here by the man ass. <laughs> you ever just shove your nose in a man's asshole and take a whiff? Isn't it beautiful? It's beautiful. And then he, as he do it, he goes, <laughs> So this guy walks up to me and goes, Dice, will you suck my cock? I said, sure, I'm a faggot. Oh! You hear me? I blow you. <laughs> you hear? Oh, shit. All day long. Oh. Suck my cock, Dice. All right already. Pull it out. I don't want to sleep in a wet spot. The whole bed's a wet spot. I've been fucking you for hours. Oh! Andrew Dice Game. <laughs> Instead of Dice, uh, it's Daggett. Instead of Dice. Jack and Jill went up the hill. Jill came down. I went up and blew Jack. It don't rhyme. It just happened that way. Oh, God. Oh, my God. How, the fear uh, running around in Midwest right now. It's just... These truckers, you, this is scary. Yeah, there's oh, nothing gay about like that. It. Just, just relaxing. That's what this Brokeback Mountain shit is gonna just. People... That's my favorite movie. <laughs> Two cowboys, they're in love and they can't even show and share their love with each other. <laughs> How sad. <laughs> Isn't that sad? How do I quit you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh God. How do I quit you? Oh, shit. I don't know. That is, I can't quit. How do I go? I shoot a load of goo. I used to joke about that. Now it's a sweet, precious gift. It's a sweet, precious gift between two men. Again! <laughs> Two faggots walk into a bar. It's me and a friend. It's not even a joke here. Andrew Dice Gay. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I like that gangster fag. Yeah? Gangster fag? I fucked him! Oh. Oh. Wow. And imagine if gangster fag looked like Tukey. Tukey. Tukey William, it's oh, just. Oh, I know. Tukey That's Williams even is even more is frightening. Just... They've shown pictures. How old is Tukey now? He's probably. 50 something. He's 50 something. I've seen recent pictures of him, but they don't like showing those recent ones on the news. Right. They showed shit from when he was first arrested. Yeah. Holy fuck. And his arm looked to, his it's arm bigger than my thighs, man. It's fucking holiday <clears throat> hams. It's, He's got these. I've huge really never seen arms like that. The, the biggest arms I've ever seen, really. Yeah. But the biggest arms I've ever seen, man. So imagine if Gangsta Fact is right. like. He went oh. to prison and did some more crazy shit. And Not he's a just, chance. And he's just a big motherfucker like that. But he's probably a sweet man. <laughs> you know, deep down, all men just want to be loved and hugged. I didn't realize this. When I was being angry towards women sexually, I didn't realize it was because I was just a man looking for the love of a man. <laughs> Little boy blue. It was me! Oh! <laughs> Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Whip it out. I'll suck that dick. Oh! <laughs> Look at Pepper Minaki. He's got to go on. That instant feedback. They're coming in like crazy now. Uh, Holy shit. Oh, God. Holy cow. I haven't <laughs> left this hard in a long time. Oh, God, damn. Oh. So I'm online at the bank, and I got my tongue up this guy's ass. <laughs> and he's like, why do you got your tongue up my ass? I said, because I'm a faggot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Goosh right in my face. <laughs> Goosh. Uh. <clears throat> what can I say? I love to come. <laughs> It's like 
to me, <laughs> it used to be nasty. <laughs> I would give it to broads and go, take my nasty goo. <laughs> <laughs> now it's like sweet strudel icing. <laughs> Just drizzled on dice. Andrew Dice Gay. <clears throat> the Faggotino. <laughs> <laughs> Which way? Which way? Um, Which way? You bet. Up the ass! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, well, Gunny from PA wants to know, Hey, Ed, is Brokeback Mountain a documentary about you and Richard in California? <laughs> yeah, that was it. <laughs> <clears throat> jeep, 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 jeep. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Bravo, Anthony. Oh, <laughs> like old school Anthony right there. All right, yes, uh, we got a surprise for everybody. Uh, one of our favorite things that we've done this past year is the gangster fag music. Yes. Uh, Patrice just couldn't get enough of gangster fag when he was filling in for Jimmy with songs like He Wants It, Twisted Life, Closet, The Faggots, and a song about Eminem. Yeah, my favorite was the uh, one where uh, the business guy, the yep. white business guy, is cruising through the neighborhood. Married with a kid. Uh, yeah, married with a kid. He sees a gangster fag. Uh, he's eyeballing him. And then uh, finally they hook up, and they're fucking in the house, and uh, fucking on the kid's bed. And gangster fag wipes his jizz off on uh, one of the, the other guy's uh, kid's play toys. That's right. And uh, the guy just gets obsessed with him. Uh, it's, a, it's a story of love. It's like a broke back mountain. Apparently, gangster fag throws quite a bang, and he and he fucks this businessman into craving him and basically weeping for his cock. Right. It's hardcore gay rap. But it's good. Mm -hmm. Why don't we listen to a little piece for for a second here? And then yes. We, then we got a huge surprise for everybody. He walks in. <laughs> My boys one day Just kicking back Hanging out in L.A. When this dude drove by And it's really funky bands I can tell right away This motherfucker had his Was a white dude About 30-something Kept staring at me Yelling like he wanted something He called me over And he asked for directions I saw his dick was hard So I peeped his card I said, you lying You know you ain't lost You wanna suck my dick While I'm jacking you off And he said, oh no There must be a mistake I got a wife and a kid And I'm very, very straight So I said, take my number and my name You can call me up When you're sick of playing games As I walked away Yo, I knew he would call Cause if you see one fag, they can see them all. He wants it. So what the fuck you think? He needs it. So what the fuck you mean? He wants it. Cause if you see one fag, now you see them all. He wants it. So what the fuck you mean? He needs it. So what the fuck you think? He wants it. Cause if you see one fag, then you see them all. So I knew that he'd be climbing the wall. One week later, and he finally called. He said his family's gone for a week or two. And he was really bored and needed something to do. So I drove to his crib up in Beverly Hills. A poor man's house worth a couple of mills. He said he wasn't gay, he just wanted to check. And a half hour later, he massaging my back. In his white room, he gave me some head. Went in the next room and fucked on his kid's bed. Fuck that we fuck like bitches in heat. I came on his face and all over the sheets. I knew that I was done when I started getting sore. I grabbed the kid's toy and I wiped my dick off. <laughs> He's lying on the bed, still trying to recover. I'm dressed in the mouth as my car hurt his rubber. He wants it. So what the fuck you think? He needs it. So what the fuck you mean? He wants it. Cause if you see one fag, then you see one fag. He wants it and he needs it there, right, he Jimmy? Wants Absolutely. It. So what the fuck you think? He needs it. So what the fuck you mean? He wants it. Cause if you see one fag, then you see them all. The dick was so good that he just couldn't pass up. So all that week, yeah, I'm tearing that ass up. Cause he loved to ride him and he loved to suck him. And after I was done, I let my homeboys fuck him. Now his punk ass called me every day. I told him we were through, then he said he would pay. So now twice a week, I'm getting paid to tap him. He laced me with the cash and the visa platinum. One month later, and the cat's out the bag. Cause this motherfucker started dressing in drag. But I did my thing and I had my fun with him. I was time to cut him off because I'm done with him. Crying like a bitch and he's starting to beg. He's falling on the ground holding on to my leg screaming don't leave please twist the g but this is what you get when you fuck with me ha. He so what the fuck you think he needs it. so what the fuck you mean he because if you see one fag then you see them all he so what the fuck you mean he needs so what the fuck you think he 
Cause if you see one bag, then you see them all. So that's Gangster Fag, and uh, he wants it. Jeez, he completely converted that guy. He sure did. He, not only did he fuck him, but then he wiped his penis on the kid's toys. Yes. And then brought his friends over and said, go ahead, you fuck him. And, and then he charged him. him, and then the guy put on a dress, and he dumped him. Yeah. You gotta like completely this guy. Completely changed that guy's uh, life around. Wrecked it. We welcome to the show, Gangster Fag. Don't nobody move, because the fag's here. <laughs> gangsta fag. So, baby, this is Twisted G, the gangsta fag, the gay defender, the gay avenger, the motherfucking rear end bender, baby. You better know how to roll. What's up, baby? I gotta, I gotta tell you, gangsta fag. What's up? Uh, Joe Rogan turned us on to uh, you. Joe Rogan, that's jo my booty buddy right there. Buddy. I hope not. <laughs> that's my booty. Oh, oh yeah, that's my booty buddy. You, all, you motherfuckers are my booty buddies too. Let me tell you. That. Someone makes a great comment, but he, 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 uh, he hung up. He wants to know what Joe Rogan was uh, googling <laughs> that he found gangster <laughs> fat <laughs> online. <laughs> Actually, that's not how he found me, man. Yeah. Nah, nah check, check this story out. You, you, you motherfuckers gonna trip the fuck out, man. This shit is real. Check all this right. out. All right. Okay. I, I recorded that CD five years ago. Okay. All right. As soon as I finished recording it, I got pissed on a parole violation, and he sent me to back to, to the motherfucking pen. Right. But I didn't even get to put my picture on the fucking cover. I mean, the project was fucked. And we trashed the project. I actually got one of my, my booty buddies, KK, to take the picture. Because he's a pretty motherfucker. He can suck a good dick, but he can't rap his shit. <laughs> and so what happened was the project got trashed. It was fucking killed. Right? So I went back to the pen. I fucked up. You know, and everything was done with. But we took 500 CDs to a gay pride in Hollywood. And gave them away for free. Yeah. So... Now, five years later, I, I've just been out for like three fucking, a couple of months, actually. And What were you um, in on? Motherfucker, you can't ask me that shit. I can I'm ask. Into the pen, we that's know like, it ain't. That's like me asking you, hey, what's your social security number? Yo, at me, you can't tell me that. Yo, Twister, we know you wasn't really guilty of this shit. We oh. just want to know what the fuck it with the charge they gave you. What do they right. claim you did? It was a parole violation. I was hanging out with some motherfuckers that went to some bad things. Oh, you're supposed to stay clear of all those motherfuckers. Yeah. Right, I, yeah. I, I, I fucked up the first time. It was my second strike, too. Uh-oh, oh, you better yeah. watch number three. Yeah, exactly. So check this out. So wow, I want to know what you did, Gangster Fag. You got to give us a little something. It was those rednecks behind the bar, right? You and your buddies went out there? Yeah, what was that? What song was that? Twisted Life? I, I've, done a, I've done a lot of bad shit. I, I'm going to give you the story, right? but check this shit out. All right. So now, I've been out for a couple of months, right? And I'm all depressed and fucking suicidal. On the real, I'm a crazy motherfucker. I'm going to be real. And so I'm thinking my career is over. I got nothing to do, right? I'm fucking up last Thursday, 3.30 in the morning, watching current TV, thinking about how I'm going to fucking do myself in or go back to the pen because I ain't got shit going on. Um, then on current TV, they set a Google search up for motherfucking called the Gangster Fag. And I'm going, wait a minute, that's me. And so motherfuckers are like, okay, we did our research to find out who he is. So I'm thinking they're going to show me fucking a dick or something. And I'm going, oh, shit, wait a minute, what's going on? Because as far as I knew, my shit was done. They, my music was dead five years ago. And so at that point, I fucking called my publicist. We hit the website, the old domain, gangstafact.com. Some motherfucker boy, uh, dickhead, um, dickhead Mike. And he was looking for me. So I'm going, oh, shit, all of a sudden, I get on Google, and I see all these motherfuckers, you know, gangster fag is out there. And some punk motherfucker, who's that guy, man? Some comic, Rodriguez? I don't know. Some shit. Anyway... He was claiming to be gangster fag. So then I had my Someone claiming to be gangster fag. Son yeah, of a... You know what you got to do? 
You got to track him down and fuck him up the ass. Oh, I got. Oh, I'm out in case my PO is listening. Wait, I got I, from. wait, was the guy claiming to be gangster fag? Was he from Florida? A, a white kid named Eric Nagel rapping on a radio promo? Because <laughs> we know that guy. Uh, I'm not sure who this motherfucker was. Yeah. But, but he was fronting. So anyway, so now I'm calling you guys. My publicist got in contact with your people and found that you guys been playing my shit. You know, much love. You my booty buddies for life too. Um, well, I don't know if oh, that's a good thing. You know, come down there, fuck the fact. Or something, do something good for you. You know, but now here I am, man. You know what I'm saying? Gangsta oh, fag. You now you sound like the real deal. I'm the real shit, man. That's you sound like the real deal. Now wait, wait, wait in the in the joint. Were you, uh, were you, uh, you know, scary? I mean, were you one of those guys that, like, if you wanted some ass, uh, you would take it? Check, check this shit out. Did you see my web? Go to gangstafag.com. Pull that shit up. You see how big I am? That's you, really? Yeah. I'm Jesus. Six, I'm 6'6", six, 260, man. 6'6", 260? Six, if I want some ass, I'm taking ass. So that's what you would do? Motherfucker, right? That's what I do. That's in, what I do. In the joint? That's right. That's what I did, baby. And the oh, story shit. goes, you knew you were gay at eight years old. You got thrown out of the house at 16 by the parents? Yep. Sucking dick. Got caught, man. Got caught sucking dick. Got caught sucking dick. Wasn't under a little porch with a guy named Jimmy Norton, <laughs> was it? I, actually, I don't even know that motherfucker's name. I, it's been so many dicks six ago. You know what I'm saying? I don't so many know. dicks ago. So many dicks ago. <laughs> God damn. So you hit the rough streets of New York? Yeah, I grew up in New York, man. And you were homeless in New York, and you were you were doing the old pickpocket and selling the crack and all that, right? Yep, in Brooklyn, baby. In order to survive, he eventually graduated to extortion and armed robbery. Oh, yeah. man. Now, see, now that's where this shit comes. You want to know what I did. What happened right. was, I learned that it was a lot easier instead of selling crack just to rob the motherfuckers that were selling crack. That's where I get the money and the crack. Now, what happened was... Good business, as, man. Well, that's exactly. Thank yeah. you very much. I appreciate that, man. Sure. Um, so, what I started doing... Is, uh, you know, my shit, my operations got bigger, and I had more, a couple other faggots down with me, and we started doing our shit. But now, when motherfuckers will retaliate, they had to think twice, because what I started doing is, when we catch up to them, not only will we whip their asses, but I fuck them too. You know what I'm saying? Oh and my then, god. So that was really humiliating and degrading for the average heterosexual motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So, that's where I got the name Gangster Fag. Well, well, because he's yeah, a gangster, and you, and you you'd be fucking these guys. Right. You know how tough you have to be to rob and rape crack dealers. <laughs> you gotta be a fucking tough dude to rape other guys with guns. We did our thing, baby. We did our thing. But then shit got too hot. Then I came to the West Coast and I ran the same program on one the West Coast, and I got pinched. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna read a little bit further here. In efforts to elude his many enemies, including the NYPD. Twisted G, that's uh, another name you go by? Twisted G, that's, that's my real, the actual name. The gangster fag comes after Twisted G. Twisted is the opposite of being straight. Right, That's I like a you. gay term. All right, let's, uh, let's go with this then. Twisted G fled to the West Coast. His life of crime continued, and he got arrested numerous times. At age 22, he earned his first strike in a three-year prison sentence? Yeah, man. Three fucking years, baby, in the booty buffet, man. The booty buffet. <laughs> yeah, for all the dick you can suck. Oh, jeez. Did you get beat up a lot in jail? You know what? See, this is the thing. Motherfuckers underestimate me. This because I'm a faggot. Don't mean I'm a faggot. You get what I'm saying? Right. And so they would think, you know, I right, this is a faggot motherfucker. And I had a little crew, some devious motherfucking faggots, man. And we do a motherfucker in a second. And big motherfuckers. So they would underestimate us. And like I said, that, that was my M.O. Now, not only would I stick a foot in your ass, it would be followed up with a dick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so if you were beating someone down, they were going to get fucked. Exactly. So then they won't want to fuck with you. It's like a, suck, a psychological effect and shit, you know? Right. You're not going to, like, if, if somebody kicks your ass, you'll go up to him and, kick, and try to retaliate by kicking his ass. And even if you get your ass kicked again, it's all right because you kind of tried. But right. this guy, this guy, you know, kick your ass and fuck you in the ass. And then you're thinking... I could try to kick his ass, but if I lose, I'm going to get fucked in the ass right. again. Exactly. And I'm, and I'm a, like I said, I, I can handle my shit. I'm a big motherfucker, and I know how to fight. You know what I'm saying? And I'm one of those crazy motherfuckers where, you know, you can whip my ass. Yeah. You know, what you going to do after that? You're going to fuck me? Why? Uh, Thank you very much. Why three <laughs> years, though, gangster fag? Thank you. <laughs> well, it's... You got to give us a little something. Arm robbery? Well, see, they, didn't, they couldn't quite pin shit on me completely. And so, you know, you get a lot of motherfuckers that, that want to try to say you did this and that, but they can't really prove it. But if they get enough shit on you, they, they get you for what they want. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't cooperate with them, they, they make an example of your ass. And then on top of that, 
I scared a lot of motherfuckers out here because of the shit that I was doing, man. They didn't, you know, so in actuality, that shit even I've done three years, but you know how that shit goes, man. All right, so, let's say hi to Joe and Yonkers. Joe, you're on with Gangsta Fag. Yeah, man, I don't know how you're, you're taking advice on how to be a gangster for somebody that sucks dick, dog. How could you be a gangster if you suck dick? Please tell me. Because I suck dick very well, my man. You know what no, you suck dick and you take it in the ass. You don't know nothing about being a man, gangster. Man, what the dog. fuck? You know, I, I think you're right. Good point. You <laughs> dog, word up, you're not gangster, dog. Don't even tell anybody about all yeah, robbery, dog. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Do you dick, know what the you meaning of a dick, fucking dog. gangster is, motherfucker? The meaning of a gangster is a motherfucker in a gang, you dumbass. Joe. Yo. Joe, this guy sounds more... You ain't a hard, you ain't hard, you ain't a thug, you don't know how to fight, dog, you don't know how to suck dick, dog. You suck dick, dog, don't say you gangster. Joe, if you ask me, this guy sounds more gangster than anybody else. I'll fuck in the ass, I'll take it in the ass, motherfucking right. Like, I'd rather get beat up, I'd rather even have to go to the hospital because I've been shot by a gangster than been fucked. Yeah, I'm going to take Gangster Fag's word. I, I say he's a gangster. That's a pretty rough gangster if he's fucking you. How, what are you gonna, how are you going to hit a guy in the face who doesn't squint with a nine inch dick in his ass how are you gonna punch him and, and expect to hurt him I, I i don't know joe i think you're wrong and a lot of yeah. guys would would say all right he, he likes dick so he can't fight but he's fucking six six and it's still a man's fist yeah. coming at you when I say I go dick, he does not have a mentality that's capable of being man. hard he's a fucking fairy you have to understand that how big are you joe how tall i'm fucking five eight 130 pounds motherfucker and wow. I'm more gangster than this fucking fag. You know what? I love the way motherfuckers get a little upset about this. Yeah, that's shit. right, though. I'm a small motherfucker. Are you I secure with your sexuality? I think Joe would use... I think uh, ga gangster fag would use you like a bitch. Yeah, right. I ain't got nothing to prove to him, man. It's all good, uh, baby. Well, let's go to oh, Anthony good. in the Bronx. What's going up, fellas? What's up, Anthony? I just wanted to say it's uh, big, crazy niggas like this that don't want 165-pound white boys in jail. Oh, I'm you're scared so shitless. Thank you, baby. I love you too, just baby. Just listening to him. That's yeah, why yeah, he was saying that's why white boys don't go to jail. Yes. That's why we don't want to go to jail. You can get my CD there too, you know. All right, we'll continue with your story. It's almost over. So then, uh, right, baby. you did the three-year prison sentence. Once he was released, he immediately went back to his criminal lifestyle in order to hustle up enough money to record his rap CD entitled "The Gangster Fag." The CD was about his hardcore gay gangster lifestyle of raping men, violence, and drugs. His CD was out for less than a month when he got arrested and sent back to prison for a parole violation. How many years did he do for that? I did five, man. You wow. did another five years? Yep. I told you I did that five, man. I, did. I learned my motherfucking lesson, man. Put it that way. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm trying to get with this music shit, man. I'm trying to lay low because I got a lot of motherfuckers that, like, a lot of enemies even out here on the West Coast now. And I don't want to fuck up and get that third strike. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to fuck yeah. the program up, man. All right, Sean in New Jersey says there's uh, a large discrepancy in your story. Sean? Hey, what's up? What's up, what's up man? Large discrepancy with this dude's story. What is it? Yeah. yeah. First of all, three years, you only get for third-degree crimes. You don't get that thing. You don't okay. get that for anything it's violent. Here's the tip. And second of all, I've been in all the prison systems. This motherfucker's guys like this. Guy, you I think, yeah, you go to the microwave. You, you got know nothing about prison or that, uh, on the way. All right, hold on. We got to get Hold on. One guy at a time. One guy yeah. at a time. Sean, what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that what, what would happen to this guy if someone would have went to the microwave, Warmed up some oil, some baby oil, and a glass light bulb, and splashed it right in his face. Then I'll have to handle it. Happens to fags all the time. That's right. He's right. He's absolutely right. I ain't going to front. That shit is real. But that's part of the game, baby. You get splashed that's part of the game. That's part of the twist of life, oil, baby. And all of a sudden, your skin's washed off your face. You got no skin on your face. Hey, he sounds sexy. You're done. He sounds sexy. Happens all the time. <laughs> I like you. Uh, hey, let me holler at you, baby. Man, he is p yeah, pissing off people all over the country. Joe in North Carolina, go ahead. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, Joe. I, uh, you, now, you said you was in a gang. What what gang on the face of the planet would have a faggot-ass nigga <laughs> like you in? Man, that's my gang, baby. I put my own motherfucking gangs together, baby. Anybody can put a gang together. Man, learn the, learn the game man. first, baby. Learn nah, the game. Nah, nigga. I, you know, I, game, baby. I'm in a motherfucking gang, nigga. Learn the game, baby. Your ass is not in no gang. Go to gangsterfag.com and learn the game. I don't see why these guys can't accept the fact that this guy could be a tough motherfucker, you know, even though he likes, you know, this, sucking this, dick. This is, this is why motherfuckers get raped while, while I do the shit that I did. You see what I'm saying? You got to prove your, your motherfucking point, man. You know what I'm saying? So, but it's all good. It like he'll grab one of these guys, just beat him silly, and then go, oh, I'm not, I'm not a bad guy? I'm not gangster? And then, wham, you're getting fucked in the ass. Over the phone, oh. tough, you know what I'm saying? But when motherfuckers see me in real life, that it's like, oh, uh... 
Who? Maybe you people know. are thinking old term gangster. Like yeah, they can't picture know. like yeah. Ma, ma, see Muggsy? Ma, <laughs> ma, you give me the money or I'll fuck you in the ass. See? That's the way it's gonna be. Ma, curtains for you. Ma, yeah. ma, give me a blowjob, see? I think Gangster Fag makes his point and he puts a big black exclamation point at the end of it right into your backside. <laughs> That's right. You're a pooper. Let's go to Steve on Long Island. Steve. Hey, big fan, Gangster. Uh, You're a big, big fan. fan. Uh, All right, a quick question. I uh, heard something funny happened uh, in the pen uh, with the dress. Something about a dress. You had a dress in the pen? <laughs> no, no. That's uh, actually my point. Dude. Actually, when I was... No, no. It was, it was about a dress. You had a dress. Uh, it, it was when you were locked up. You had a dress. Uh, no, they don't allow dresses in the pen, baby. <laughs> I guess not, uh, sir. Uh, good. I'd rather go naked, baby. Booty naked, baby. Good, good, good call back, Steve. All hey, right. did that ever have... I, I, uh, that song we listened to before we got you on the air there... Anything like that ever happen that to you? That happens all the time, baby. All the time. What, bi businessman? Those are, those are the most motherfucking undercovers. You know, they, they, we call it the DL. You know? Right. And, that, and it, you'd be amazed at how many motherfuckers are like that. And actually, even a lot of callers, man. It's like if this, even in the pen, you get a lot of motherfuckers like these motherfuckers that are calling or whatever, whoop de whoop. But even in the pen, you get these motherfuckers, and they get in there, and they start sucking dick, or they get fucked, and they're like, but I'm not gay. How the fuck are you not going to be gay if you're in the pen? Getting your dick sucked or sucking the dick. But they say, you know, it's just to get me through until I get out. It's just sexual. I can, you know, separate the two. You know, so it's just a bunch of bullshit, baby. All right, huh. we're moving on with your story. So after serving a five-year sentence and earning his second strike, Twisted G is back on the streets again. Assuming that his rap career was over, he was convinced that he'd have no other choice but to return to a life of crime and face his third strike and life in prison. There you go. But upon his release, he was informed that his music had a loyal following thanks to Joe Rogan and Opie and Anthony on XM Satellite I'm Radio. All right. <laughs> Go there and get your T-shirt. Can't we just be called uh, friends? Uh, I think you would booty like, buddies is better. I don't like the booty buddies thing. I think, I think it's fine. I think don't be, don't be Look, Jimmy's booty, booty, booty buddy. You can be Jimmy's booty buddy. Anthony, uh, Anthony and I just want to be uh, your friend. Uh, well, no, I'll like be a you long, can be friend. I want to be as far away as possible. <laughs> All right, I will be a, uh, I, I will be a long distance friend. <laughs> Twisted G scares the living shit out of me on so many levels. It's not even funny. You're so good. All right, so uh, we're helping him out, and then it finishes here. He now has a second chance to prove to the world that he is one of the greatest gangster rappers of all time. He is attempting to raise enough money legally to record his hardest album ever. Gangster Fag is back with a vengeance coming soon in your mouth. In your motherfucking <laughs> mouth, baby. That's right. That's right. So that's what I'm trying to do, man. I'm trying to get my hustle. I'm trying to sell this CD. The one right. you just heard. At, at, at gangstafag.com. We got t-shirts that's like as funny as shirt that says, uh, why am I toy sticky? Shit like that. <laughs> and, uh... So we trying to sell that. Who wouldn't wear a, a, a T-shirt? Why is my toy sticky? I could see some of our Who listeners wear, wearing those. Wear Absolutely. That. Why my toy that's sticky? That's and so I'm tr so with that money, I'm gonna record my next CD, my next album. Come back with the hard shit. Wait, uh -huh. so oh, and I, this is, I, I didn't realize. I remember when Rogan was talking about uh, we played music. I didn't know this was the first radio play that ever. Got. Obviously, we have to of be, course it is. Yeah. We're the only one doing satellite this radio. Is, this is historical. My goal is to desecrate the motherfucking rap game, baby. I'm gonna make a fucking I'm going to ridicule all these motherfuckers, man. They're going to get out-rapped by a motherfucking gay faggot rapper. What about yeah. M what, what, Eminem? You rapped about Eminem. Do you like him or do you not like him? You know what? That's a pretty motherfucker. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I do, uh, you know, I, I fuck him. I ain't going to front. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> when I did that CD, it was five years ago, and that's when he was talking lots of shit about faggots, man. You know okay. what I'm saying? Right. And so, but actually, he's a talented motherfucker. I give him credit. Right, let's go to Dallas. Baby Boy has a comment for Gangster Fag. Baby Boy! Yo, what's up, man? Sorry, look here. Y'all need to get this old faggot-ass motherfucker off the goddamn radio, Don't take radio, me man. nowhere. He wants hey. it. Hey, nigga, what's this? He needs what's up with me. He wants it. for gangster cuz. Nigga, I'm a person. Boy, I'm a boy. I come from, nigga, I'm, I'm out of Dallas. Ain't right? nobody move cause the faggot-ass off the motherfucking radio, nigga. Ain't nobody move cause the faggot-ass. Yeah. yeah. Wow, all right. Wow. All right, Thank you, baby boy. Really uh, I'm just surprised we got fucking gangsters from Dallas calling. I'm not yeah. surprised. 
you can get with me and we can fuck all night. Love it, baby. <laughs> That's hysterical. <laughs> he wants it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you I got to admit, your songs are a, a bit catchy. They are catchy. Thank you, baby. Let's say hi to James in New York. James. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. Uh, first of all, it's my birthday today, so if you guys could wish me a happy birthday. No one great. cares, stupid. Get to the point. Uh, hey, Mr. Fag. I'm what's gonna up, be baby? Out. I'm going to be out on the West Coast next week, uh, cruising in a Saturn around the HBO studios. Oh, yeah. If you, uh, if you could come look me up, I'm a little midget nothing with a weak chin and tits and, yeah. You know, sir, oh, I don't drive a Saturn I, when I'm I out there, stupid. You guys are even talking to me, motherfuckers, man. You suck, Jimmy, you suck. That man holds it getting wet. This is a a lot, of, lot of questions for the gangster fact. You know what? I gotta say, gangster fact. We have we have a very homophobic producer uh, named Ben Sparks, and we, he actually dared you to rape him when you come to New York. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he he pretty, wants is he a pretty motherfucker? Yeah, yeah, he is. You might have to prove that you're a gangster fag. We you might have to block. fly you to New York. But I hear you're not even allowed to leave L.A. or something like no, that. I'm, I'm, I'm not for a couple of months, man. I'm, I'm, I'm working on that shit now. All right, let's I'm going to be on the streets. I'm going to be doing some... Let's, thank God. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's go to Rich uh, somewhere on the West Coast. Rich, what's up? Uh, actually, from New York. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, I understand that Gangsta Fag had a song about one time when he was at camp and wanted to blow this cute little white boy with fantastic eyes, and all that little white boy told him was, cheep, 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 cheep. <laughs> I don't think that ever happened with Gangsta Fag. Bunch of Alvaldo on a sexy dope. No, this sounds sexy, don't it? Happen, though, you know? Well, Anthony had uh, something that almost happened to him, but he had a fake, uh, fake that he was asleep. Uh, it's, a, it's a long I story. I didn't mm. want it. <laughs> no, it was more than a river, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Jim in Brooklyn. Hey, gangster, I really want to do you, bro. Oh. Well, you know, not you. Uh, all right, right let's go to, uh, uh, hold on, gangster. Let's go to Cliff in California. Cliff. <laughs> I love it. It's your real game. Cliff. I want to pay respect to this guy. He is terrifying. <laughs> yeah, isn't this awesome. just... Yeah. You are oh, like... Man. I'll tell you, Twisted, you are like an American nightmare. Thank you very much. Bro. You are an American nightmare. You know what? You motherfuckers are responsible. He will, uh... Yeah, he will take your money and rape you with a smile on his face. You're like fucking Fag Kong. You come to New York, we just put you on display and hope you don't break loose and fuck everybody. <laughs> Grammys with my motherfucking fag crew, baby. How funny would that shit be? Would that be great? You accept the Grammy and you all just shove them up your asses? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's what I'm trying to do, man. Think of, nah, come on, answer this shit on the real. Yeah. Take away all the gay shit and just go by lyrics. How many motherfuckers out there can really fuck with me lyrically? Think about that. Be real. Well, it, like we said, it, they're very catchy. Very catchy tunes, man. Thank, thank you, baby. So that's why we're trying to... You, got, you motherfuckers can blow me up. And help well, me ridicule these motherfuckers. All right, let's uh, let's go to Mike the Trucker. Mike, hey, how you doing? Hey, uh, usually the truckers don't have an uh, open mind when it comes to this type of uh, nah, subject matter. Nah, nah, so nah, let's uh, let's see what Mike has to say for all the truckers out there. Mike, well, well, you know, hey man, I don't agree with what he's doing as far as on his personal level, but as far as the rapper goes and everything, man, he's a pretty talented guy, man. You know, so he puts this shit together real well. You know, and I, I got to give him his props. You know, That's... but you know, hey, all that fag wow. shit, he can go ahead on with that bullshit, but. Uh, other than that, man, I, I can't knock him for what he does, man. You know, as far as on a gangster tip, gangster rapper tip, that's that's all right. He's just doing basically what all of them are doing out there, and he's got an edge on it. And what he's trying to do as far as uh, uh, want to uh, put the rap world on his back, as far as what he's rapping about, hey, man, that's, that's hey, he can, he, can, he can possibly do that shit. All he right, can't baby. do that. All right, Mike, thank, thank you. Baby. Thanks for the love, baby. All right. Um, and here's the shit, man. The funny shit is half those motherfuckers in the rap game are fucking faggots anyway, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, but they're trying to front like they're fucking gangsters. I have the fucking balls to come on and be motherfucking right. I'm a faggot and the motherfucking gangster. And those balls are laying on someone's chin. <laughs> Against <laughs> their <laughs> will. <laughs> so why, have, you heard, have you heard any of the big rappers are gay? Man, I'm in motherfucking L.A. Trust me, baby. Trust me. I know the game up in here, man. I know the game. Not you. You'd be shocked. I won't do that shit because I, I I gotta lay the fuck low right now, and I'm trying right. to not fuck around. But you will be fucking shocked. And there's all the rumors that you have heard, which I'm sure you might have heard a few. That shit is real, baby. Okay. Well, whatever that those rumors real. are, I wouldn't say. It. Wow. All right, let's go to Preacher Anthony. Preacher Anthony. No, Bleacher Anthony. Oh, Bleacher Anthony. Uh, yeah, I'm What's sorry. Up? I'm sorry. They had uh, Preacher. I was thinking maybe it was another guy. Uh, what's up? It's what's Bleacher up, Anthony, everyone. Gangster fag, you want to do some uh, tissue time with me? Um, that depends, baby. That depends. What you got? I want you. I want you to talk dirty to me.
me as I stick a big black Louisville slugger up your ass. Mm. Hey, you know what? That's, that, that's, that reminds me of some shit. See, I'm, I'm sure. You. You of, have you ever heard of Keister? What? That? You ever heard of a Keister stash? Keister stash? Yeah. Uh, I imagine it's something one hides in one's ass. Right, right. And, and that's the shit. So when he said Louisville slugger, that shit reminded me, man. Because and the, so he said that shit like he was going to scare me. And I was like, I did that shit for fun. And the thing, what you do, is the, the more shit you can carry in your ass, you can make money like that. And it's a hustle. So you can carry weapons in your ass, shanks, uh, fucking dope, whatever the fuck you want. Oh, yeah. You can carry it for other motherfuckers, too. And the more shit you can carry, the more money you can make. And so what you do is you take, like, little fucking bottles and shit and vas put Vaseline on it. You shove, shove it up your ass to make your ass bigger, man. So that shit just took me back to some fond memories. So you must have made a lot of money. Heavy, man. It was like... Motherfucker, you're turning me on. You know what I'm saying? You, you made a lot of money then? Yeah, man. That's the hustle right there. It was like the Microsoft of prison. Yeah, <laughs> It was like a, like a man purse. You know what I'm saying? Man. A man purse. There you go. <laughs> a man purse. His nickname is Micro <laughs> Ass. Joe Rogan. My motherfucking booty buddy, baby. A man purse. That's the greatest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. yeah and that's always the great when someone says, I want to put a bat in your ass. They go, that reminds me of a funny story. <laughs> I know. That's yeah. when you know it's... He's, He's the real deal. Memory lane and shit, motherfucker. All right. You scare me? Well, everybody wants to talk to Gangster Fact today. Joe in Chicago. Joe? What's cracking, boys? What's hey. up, Joe? Uh, I am 6'3", 480, a former bouncer who don't mind fighting, but he makes me a little nervous. <laughs> I, was, I, I like his skills in the rap game, but uh, he don't come to Chicago. I would not like to see you in the dark alley. But, you know, that's very flattering, my brother. You're you know scared of gangster fag. Yeah. Well, see, motherfuckers that know what time, they know what time is. You know what I'm saying? These are other motherfuckers. I'm 100 pounds when I'm wet, and I'll kick your ass, gangster fag. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up, baby. Now, real motherfuckers, they can tell. They can sense it. You know, even if, my music is for everybody. Even if you don't... Now, check this out. If, if you listen to my motherfucking music, you know, and you're straight, you'll find it repulsive, fucking disgusting, and, you know, unnerving, but it's fucking hilarious. And you'll find it, you know, that's cool. Now, if you're listening to my shit and you know all the lyrics and you're dancing to it, you're the motherfucking faggot. <laughs> but that's cool, too. You know what I'm saying? My music is for everybody. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Except for, I don't fuck with the 18 and under shit. You know what I'm saying? I'll leave that to the Catholic Church. That's their problem. All right. Well, let's, go to, let's go. Different. I'm, I'm a respectable faggot. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let's go to Daryl in Missouri. Daryl? Yeah. Hey, um... Uh, we I did time in uh, in Jefferson City in Missouri, and we had an old boy there who was about six six, two hundred and forty ten pounds, white boy, solid ass muscle, but he was always working out in the weight. That old boy would bend over and take it the ass quicker than anybody we ever seen, and it, and it, and if you didn't give it to him right, he'd beat your ass. There you so go. so there's there's boys out there like that. Did you have to give it to him? Uh, no, I never did, but I've seen it done. He wants it. He needs it. He wants it. <laughs> <laughs> Gangsta fag. Gangsta fag .com, baby. There you go. Wow. All right. Well, uh, but that you know. shit is common, man. Depending on how it is, you if you want some some fresh meat, motherfucker, come in there. You walk up to motherfucker, yo. Let me suck your dick, motherfucker. And if this motherfucker is going to lay you on your motherfucking back and take you out, you're going to let him suck your dick. Let me ask you this. And now, if you want put put yourself in this situation, Mr. Opie. Now, if you want well, to... Hold on. Why don't we use someone else? No, I think example. Opie's a good example. All right. So Opie and you are in the joint. Uh, go ahead. What's the now, scenario? Motherfuckers come up to you. Huge motherfucking faggots, right? Say four or five. Big black nigger faggots, okay? Yeah. Now, they tell you, yo, check it out. You... We want to suck your dick, motherfucker. What we going to do you? What you going to do? Come on. Think quick. Come on. Be real. I know what I would do. <laughs> I would say, is this a good answer in prison? I've never been to prison. And this is not old. This is Jim. But if they said that, I'd say, you know what, fellas? I'd prefer if you didn't. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work. Either. Yeah, I don't think I don't so. Think I ain't seen that shit work yet. Well, how, how about how this? How about you give me a, uh, another choice? <laughs> <laughs> how about don't suck my dick, but you can have my desserts? Yeah, how about, uh, I don't need to well, eat Well, why anyway. can't they have it all, baby? Jeez. Sharon is caring. Hey, Come you on. ever have sex, you ever <laughs> have sex with caring. a woman? Say that again? Ever have sex with a woman? Actually, I did twice. I did twice. Yeah, yeah. and, and what was the problem? You didn't like it? Check it out. You, heard, you see that, that song that cut, uh, Living in the Closet, man? That, that fucking love song shit bullshit I did. That living in the closet, 
No, it's on the track, baby. Yeah. Right. And I talk about it in there. And oh, I talk yeah? About, yeah. And I fucked with this chick, the first one. You know, I was like fucking uh, still a virgin. And I tried to do it just to try to see, you know what I'm saying, if shit was in me or not. And I was fucking with him. I think I got soft and I started feeling a little sick, man. I couldn't fuck with it, man. And I fucked around and I tried to eat it. And it was too fucking tart or something. You know, and it just fucked me up, man. It was Pussy too just tart. Me. I don't know. It just don't work for me, man. Hey. Then I tried it again when I was a little older. Um, hey, uh, guys, in fact, how do you how do you escape the old AIDS? Well, what what you talk about, baby? How do you escape uh, the HIV? Were you safe? Like talking back in terms to me, baby. Say that again. We, we, he's, he's saying that you're, he's assuming you're HIV negative, right? Oh, fuck yeah. So how'd you do it in jail? With rubbers or what'd you do in jail? It, yeah, in jail, we, they, we got rubbers in the pen, man. I ain't gonna front, not always. I didn't always do it in the fucking rubbers. But got lucky. Right. right, right, my shit is right. But see, I would get fresh meat motherfuckers, and I like those clean cut motherfuckers, man. You know what I'm saying? The professional motherfuckers, they come in. <laughs> those are the ones that I like. And, you know. Oh, jeez, so some poor white collar had, crime guy. They've never had dick before, you know, and it's, it's a safe bet. You know, <laughs> motherfuckers, and I don't even like to fuck with, like, feminine faggots, man. I don't fuck with that. Well, That's, well nah. we got a lot of questions coming in. Rich and Philly wants to know if your gang colors are pink. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, man, that shit clash with my shit. <laughs> and uh, Stephen and Bashar has something. Stephen. Hey, good morning, guys. How are you? Good, hey, man. What's up, brother fucker? Well, well, listen, baby, you, you, are, you are frightening. I, I think people around the country are listening with their assholes puckered shut. <laughs> you know, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, right, gotta... clinching. The manholes are getting wet right Take now. I'm going to fucking speak, baby. Oh. Just like that. Fuck, fuck real manholes, baby. It's all good. A man purse. How about you give us a little uh, freestyle rap here, gangster? What you want, baby? What you want? Just give us a little what something. What you want to track? Uh, anything. Whatever you've been working on, maybe okay. something. Okay, this, this is some shit that, you know, just to show motherfuckers that I can even switch it up on them. All right? And they get away from this fag shit, baby. Let me see. What can I get for you? Lyrical precision was formed that has arisen from the depths of my mind. In time, a new division of rap that will extend and spell out a new meaning. For those who haven't starved, let Marvin are just fiending for a new dimension of invention that I have made up. Unnecessary yelling and just telling it straight up. Highly rated, complicated scenario. My material displayed and I say you to wait. Law imperial addressed and expressed in the terms you can decipher. Not revolting, just resulted in me being the life of the scene. What I mean, the idea is unclear. If you prevent that intent, which is meant for you to hear. Opposition is as listening to cowards are overpowered. But in the brief figure of speech, they get devoured. A relentless attack, which is fact is my medley, and actual fact is exact and sort of deadly. What, son? Nice. What? Yeah, what, boy. That's the, the king fag is here, baby. I see gangster fag settling down and having a family one day. Uh, yeah. There you go, baby. After a home invasion, I'll have them all. <laughs> there you go, baby. While the wife watches. So you can rap about non-sexual things, too, like, obviously. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. All right, it's gangstafag.com. We should play another track. From... Oh, baby. What... Hey, what song do you like from your CD? Me, really? Twisted Life, baby. Twisted Life you like? Yeah, baby. I don't know if we ever played Twisted Life. Uh, I, I saw on there, baby. It's a nice little flow. I like it. I like it. All right, we'll play uh, Twisted Life from Gangsta Fag. <laughs> All right, Gangsta Fag. Keep it All right, close. baby. Gangstafag.com, baby. Uh, All right, there Thanks, you go. Man. Gangstafag.com. And uh, here's Twisted Life. A little taste as we go to break. Yeah, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. Got that motherfucking twisted G show on his twisted. I'm about to bust this real bag. Pimpin' that shit. It ain't gonna stop. Never believe in your mother twisted G. How fuck you gotta say? I'm in my ride, cruising down the street. Got my system bumping to a twisted GB. It's early in the morning and I'm smoking a bud. I'm horny as a fuck and I need me a stud. I got this chick asking me for a ride, but I let her know quickly that I'm strictly dickly. I said, I'm sorry, I can't help you, miss. Cause a faggot like G don't be fucking with fish. She gets upset and she flipping me off. Cause a saggy ass tits don't be getting me off. I just laugh as I drove right by. Cause I don't give a fuck cause I'm so, so high. I think about this dude that I fucked last night and how his dick was big and his ass was tight, sucking on my cock like a candy cane, rubbing on my balls and fucking out my brains, I pulled out then I came in his mouth, I put my clothes on and I broke the fuck out, <laughs> you keep it real cause I know my type, cause a nigga like G left a twisted life, <laughs> I keep it real and you know my type, a nigga like G left a twisted life, so if your nigga's big and your ass is tight, then you can get with me and we can fuck 
go night I keep it real and you know my type A nigga like me lives a twisted life So if your dick is big and your ass is tight Then you can get with me and we can fuck all night Now I'm cruising down Hollywood Boulevard I'm still high and my dick is still really hard I'm watching male hookers as I'm driving past Fuck that shit, I ain't paid for ass I make a you and I'm about to go home That's when my boy called you on the cellular phone He says he got some guys hanging at the house And talking lots of shit like they can turn me out I asked if they were fine and he said hell yeah I made a U turn and told him I'll be there Rolling on my D's, now I'm on my way I stopped by the store to get some Alice Cause you know me, yo, I must come right And if I got a bunch, then I can fuck all night high I keep it real and you know my type Cause a nigga like G lived a twisted life I keep it real and you know my type A nigga like G lived a twisted life So if your nigga's big and your ass is tight Then you can get with me and we can fuck all night I keep it real and you know my type A nigga like G lived a twisted life So if your nigga's big and your ass is tight Then you can get with me and we can fuck all night Boys spot the parties off the hook and the guys are hot. Find motherfuckers everywhere that I turn. Find motherfuckers when the fuck will they learn? They don't stand a chance when it comes to Jeezy. A pocket full of weed in my eye like easy. Got four motherfuckers and they grinding on me. Sucking on my neck, now they got me horny. We take it to the back, now we're stoning and cracking. Now they wanna see what the G is packing. Got a tongue in my ass and the mouth on my cock. I'm feeling like a pistol and I'm ready to pop. That ass in the air and I'm digging them down. I let them suck the dick and they pass it around. I keep it real and you know my type Cause a nigga like G lived a twisted life ha. I keep it real and you know my type A nigga like G lived a twisted life So if your dick is big and your ass is tight Then you can get with me and we can fuck all night I keep it real and you know my type A nigga like G lived a twisted life So if your dick is big and your ass is tight Then you can get with me and we can fuck all night I keep it real and you know my type A nigga like G lived a twisted life So if your dick is big and your ass is tight Then you can get with me and we can fuck all night I keep it real and you know my type A nigga like G lives a twisted life So if your dick is big and your ass is tight Then you can get with me and we can fuck all night Run out to all my motherfucking Get back with it, so it's fucking mad I'm putting it down, I'm putting it down 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 See, I was getting high with my boys one day. I'm back hanging out in L.A. When this dude drove by in this really funky bands. I could tell right away this motherfucker had ends. Was a white dude, about 30-something. Kept staring at me, yelling like he wanted something. He called me over and he asked for directions. I saw his dick was hard, so I peeped his car. I said, you lying, you know you ain't lost. You want to suck my dick while I'm jacking you off. And he said, oh no, there must be a mistake. I got a wife and a kid and I'm very, very straight. So I said, take my number and my name. You can call me up when you're sick of playing games. As I walked away, yo, I knew he would call. Cause if you see one bag, they can see them all. He wants it. What the fuck you think? He needs it. What the fuck you mean? He wants it. Cause if you see one bag, now you see them all. He wants it. So what the fuck you mean? He needs it. So what the fuck you think? He wants it. Cause if you see one bag, then you see them all. So I knew that he'd be climbing the wall. One week later and he finally called. He said his family's going for a week or two. And he was really bored and needed something to do. So I told him. There it is, Gangsta Fag. It's sweeping the nation. We finally got to talk to Gangsta Fag, what, last week? Yes, we did. Just giving you a piece of the song because a, uh, an acoustic version of that song came in in the last week or so. To the, acoustic. Yeah, to the, the huge Gangsta Fag hit, He Wants It. Mm hmm. Someone took it upon themselves to make an acoustic version of that fine song. A lot of controversy and rumor, speculation and everything about Gangsta Fag. What do you mean, Ant? Who he is, what he's all about, is he really uh, what he says he is. You know, all this uh, speculation, nothing to back it up. Uh, I think he's so out there that it's just hard for people to comprehend this guy, you know. 
He's just a gay thug big, who can rap. Big fag. Yeah. Big black faggot. He uh, he was a lot of fun on the radio. Yeah, oh, I am. The guy uh, took no bunk from anybody. Well, what, what, who's going to give him bunk? Uh, absolutely. You give him bunk, he's going to give you spunk. Like, he doesn't even threaten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he doesn't even threaten to just beat you up. Like, if, if some big, like, weightlifting-looking, muscle-bound black guy threatens to beat you up, you're not going to do uh, something that will piss him off. Right. He threatens to beat you up, but after you're down on the ground and all beat up, he's going to fuck you in the ass. Ah, uh, even worse. Even worse. Now it's even worse. Than and just while he's fucking you, he goes, that's called an attention getter. An attention getter. Well, let me tell you what happened. Knocking people out, <laughs> fucking them in the ass. <laughs> so let me tell you what happened. Uh, Dad, Ryan... my pants fell off. I hope his big black cock was in them. <laughs> you sounded a lot gayer on the radio. <laughs> let me tell you what happened. So Ryan, one of our fans, took uh, He Wants It by Gangster Fag and me an acoustic version. Yes. And then Detox from Whack Bag took Ryan's acoustic version... And added a few more instruments. Mm -hmm. You follow? Yes. So Ryan came up with the acoustic version of uh, He Wants It by Gangsta Fag. And then Detox even uh, made it better by adding uh, some stuff into it. And now it's like a remix. I cannot wait to hear this bit of fagdom. So this is that same song done acoustically. This gayness. Getting high with my boys one day Just kicking back, hanging out in L.A. When this dude drove by in this really funky Benz I could tell right away this motherfucker had ends It was a white dude, about 30-something Kept staring at me like he wanted something He called me over, he asked me for directions I saw his dick was hard, so I peeked his car I said, you're lying, you know you ain't lost You wanna suck my dick while I'm jacking you off He said... Oh no, there must be a mistake, I got a wife, a kid, I'm very, very straight, so I said take my number, take my name, you can call me up when you're sick of playing games, and I walked away, I knew we would call, when you seen one bag, you seen them all, so what the fuck he then said, so what the fuck he needed, when you see you one bag, bag yeah. you see in my heart, so what the fuck he then said, so I knew he'd be climbing the walls One week later, he finally called Said his family was gone for a week or two He was really bored, he needed something to do So I drove up to his crib up in Beverly Hills A farmhouse house with a couple of mills He said he wasn't gay, he just wanted to chat Then a half hour later, he's massaging my back In his wife's room he gave me some head, went to the next room Fucked on his kid's bed, fucked all with fuck Like bitches in heat I came on his face and all over the sheets I knew I was done when I started getting soft I grabbed the kid's toy and I wiped my dick off He's lying on the bed, still trying to recover I pushed him out the door and my car's born and rubber So what the fuck he then said So what the fuck he needed when you see you one said I yeah. You see in my heart So what the fuck you don't say So what the fuck you need When you see you one said I yeah. You see in my heart I'm telling that ass up cause he loves to ride him, he loves to suck him After I was done I let my homeboys fuck him, now his punk ass calls me He ever seen a day I told him I was through He told me that he pays so not twice a week I'm getting paid to tap him, he pays me with the cash and the visa slap him One month later, the cat is out the back on this motherfucker starts dressing and drag I did my thing, I had my fun with him But it's time to cut him off because I'm done with him Crying like a bitch and he's trying to beg Throw him on the ground, holding him under my leg Screaming, don't leave, please, Twisted G What you get when you fuck with me? So what the fuck you don't care? So what the fuck you need? When you see one bag, yeah 
to see in my heart. So what the fuck you don't say? So what the fuck you need? Say? Well, it, it certainly changes the feel of the song. I like, Not as scary. I like the blues traveler feel to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With the, when the harmonica came in, it was definitely a blues traveler feel. That sounds like the closing credit song to Brokeback Mountain <laughs> more than like a scary "I'm gonna rape you" song. It reminds me of Brother Joe's Up In Here song. Yeah. Has yeah. that same type of thing. True. I want to thank Ryan. He put that together, and then Detox from Whack Bag took it and made it even stronger. So Fabulous. Listen, I know there's a lot of rumors about Gangster Fag. Uh, Rogan, I don't know if Joe knows him, but I'll, I'll talk to Joe when I'm back in L.A. I'm going to try to meet Gangster Fag. Oh. Because um, I will be out there for three weeks, and I will try to have a photo with Gangster Fag by the time I get back. Well, I will work on it. Look what uh, Jimmy's willing to do for the show. I know you. You better be nice. <laughs> First time he's ever wanted to go out of his way to help the show. That's uh, that's 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 quite a don't nice say, thing you're doing, Jimmy. Don't well. say anything bad to him. <laughs> don't uh, don't gay bash with red redneck friends and then leave the uh, back door of the bar. Because he'll be out there with his buddies and they'll fuck you all. That's right. But Ope's, oh, let me, Ope's implying. <laughs> let, let me just see if I understand this. Yeah. I'm trying to be helpful and dispel rumors. But well, Ope we're not used to you being helpful. That's, I, all, that's all I'm trying to say, Jimmy. Uh, but, I mean, if you want to look into it further, that's uh, just your little brain working over but I'm, time. I just want to be helpful to the radio program. I understand. I want to have, I figured we could take like maybe him in a vest. Or maybe, uh, you know, picking me up just to show how big he is, how small I am. Oh, wouldn't that be cute? Yeah, like your arms around each other, you know, like just kind of pointing, you know, a couple of men. You know he would have sex with you then. No, he wouldn't. He, if, he, if he's picking you up, he couldn't resist. But it's not gay because Jimmy's actually going to be Jimmy Robinson when... Uh, I'll have my cape on. When he meets Gangsta Facts. Jimmy so. Robinson, I used to picture Jimmy Robinson with his cape riding his little tricycle by. Oh, that was Jimmy Robinson. Yeah. But anyway, I will try to... Maybe through Rogan. Well, you make that work. Back. That's very nice. You make Jimmy. it work. Make it happen. And I, you know what? As a matter of fact, this is how secure I am. All right. The gangster fag. Look at him. I show him this. I go, go ahead. Let's take a picture. Take a picture with that. <laughs> oh. On. Well, I get a supple, delicious little backside. That is horrid to have to look at <laughs> but so many times. You know what's a day. hard about it is that I know it's hard about it. It's hard because. You both looking at it, going, "God, that's awful." Jesus, that's cute. We, uh, it's awful, but nice. No. What you and I need, have to do is not react. We're still reacting, it's so he feels difficult. like he can continue to, you know, take his hiney out. Very <laughs> difficult we not have to react. To not react, and if we not react, he, he's going to be like, "All right, bits over." That's how my I parents treated anymore. me. Like, "All right, well, just don't pay attention." Ignore to him. him. Gangsta fag. Don't nobody move to the fag man. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, baby? What's up, gangsta really fag? Him? Happy yeah. motherfucking New Year's, baby. How was New Year's, man? What's up, man? Check it out. I got some good news, man. Three pieces of good news. One, I'm back in the motherfucking studio, baby, working on a new CD. But I don't have a title for it, so I'm holding a contest to find out who can come up with a good name. Uh, Black Cock Up The Ass. Ah, that's not bad. No? Not bad. How about the anal animal? No, I don't like it. You got to think of Walmart. You got to think of Walmart. Oh, Walmart, right. All right. Gangsta Fag, you got to make it quick. All right, real quick. Okay, if you could come up with a name for my CD, man, hit me up at gangstafag.com and go to my forum. Two, that's the first good news. The second good news is Uncomfortable my CD off the hook. They're selling good things to you motherfuckers. So if you go to my website, I'm going to sell a CD and you get a T-shirt for nine ninety nine, and I'm going to autograph it. I never autograph CDs, man. So I'm going to autograph the next 100 CDs. You can put them on eBay, do what the fuck you want with them. The third one is I don't care what you guys say. Motherfucking O and A, my booty buddies for life, baby. Holy well, God. can we put this in another yeah. way? Perhaps like just kind of associates. He left her. He gets the plug. You know, Gangsta Fag is all about product. He's all about plugging. He's all about plugging, <laughs> whether it's uh, other man's asses whether it's or his new CD. Man ass or CDs, right. right. Or that trying to create false excitement, like, I just can't come up with a title. <laughs> <laughs> the if contest. I could, if I could just get 100,000 hits on my website. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I have a I have cynic. A, he already has the title. You are so cynical. I have an idea for the title. How about ouch? <laughs>